You heard nothing, Kit. Okay, I may have... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What that was is me accidentally playing with the best of, which I'm going to post here, because I forgot to do the thing, because I promised myself that in 2024 I'm going to be um, better at promoting my friends, which includes this. <laughs> uh, so you can hide that, everybody, if you need to. That should be pinned, I'm assuming it is. <clears throat> Second of all, everybody join me to congratulate Kitten and Towns on their pregnancy. Pretty good. I had to say it, Kitten, you know I did. Southan, welcome to the stream as well. Kitten, Mindrate, Vimsurf, Kelly, Scotty, welcome to the stream. It's true. This is Doom House bullshit. <laughs> right, next on the list is this. <laughs> Happy six years. Scotty, thank you for... Well, 46 months is exactly four years. Scotty, to think I've known you four years. It's disgusting. Not enjoyed a single second of it yet. I'm sure you could say the same. Scotty, thank you for 46 months. I appreciate it as always. Congratulations to your birth. What, me and Scotty? I mean, it was only a 46 month sub so then, but I appreciate the kind words. Congratulations to Kitten and Towns. Thank you, nerds. I'm out of my damn mind. <laughs> so you're now working from home, right? Until the big day, as they say. Right, welcome to the stream, everybody. I need to also uh, announce... I say announce, not announce. I need to also explain that I have played the ever-loving fuck out of my summer car this weekend. Now you admit. So I played it so much it's broke. I have played the fuck out of my summer car this weekend because my intention was to run off the remaining days to the point where I could get arrested and start serving a fine based on 64... <laughs> based on 64... Thousand marks worth of um, tax evasion fine for using the tiniest droplets of cherry diesel in the van by accident, which was a genuine accident. So I ran it off, kept myself busy, and uh, just just doing logs, was doing the odd shit sucker. I wore the helmet for the full thing, and I have um, got myself up to well. I've earned a lot of money. We're on like 16 grand or something wild now, which hopefully should cover us for a while. I have not touched anything important, so I've not got anywhere near the drag strip. I've not... The combine harvester is packed exactly where it was last week. I've just done a load of the repetitive chores and the prison sentence. The police arrested me for a 65,000, 64,000 mark fine. And the jail sentence was two days. Now, I think the fine scales based on the time you're, the length of your save, but I don't think jail sentences do. So I think if you get done for tax evasion, it's always a two-day jail sentence. Which, for somebody that's, that's been in jail the length that I have in this game, that's easy. So, I got out, and then... I had a nefarious idea, which I'll explain. Dougie, welcome to the stream as well. How are we? Good morning, Dougie. I've done a little bit of prep work for the next um, drag race. <clears throat> I've decided to play dirty. Due to having PCOS, I'm considered a high risk, so it's best for me not to be in a place I end up being sick. So, your poly lipstick ovary 
Does that is that damage your immune system? I mean, it's fair for a pregnant lady. Congratulations <laughs> to work from home. But is that what is that the idea? I never heard about that side of it before. All right. However, um, another thing I did was I got the inspection done. Let me explain. The car is now inspected. You'll remember that was a thing that needs doing. That was one of the things I burnt off. Look, the the combine is still exactly where it was before, so that's what we're going to start with today. Look at my money. 17 grand. I still have two shit sucks to do in the north, I think. Yeah, but not this um, eastern side. But look, the car is fully inspected. And because I no, no longer need to worry too much about... Um, performing at a high level at the drag strip, I didn't even bother switching like the weight off of it. Because <clears throat> I am confident that I am going to be able to be beating Thandy and Santa in a one-on-one -on -one at the drag strip. Increases the risk of miscarriages. Oh, I see. I thought it was in a, uh, uh, like an immune system thing. Kitten, you're pregnant. Congrats. I'll give you a week off from nagging you about cheating in marbles. <laughs> You don't get a break from my harassment over stream races, then, no. Right, you will also notice that during my preparation phase, I now no longer have the tractor at the house. And that is because I have been preparing for my villain arc. I have spent so long, not only the bills over the last two weeks, I have spent so long in the tractor in this game that I now hate the fucking sight of it. I took two wrecks from here down to here in the actually not in the tractor it was the shit so shit truck that did a lot of the dragging to that point because that's the furthest south um shit so so i dragged two wrecks that were out previously outside alkyrions to here and then i have dragged with the tractor one all the way down here to the drag strip and then the other one siddles actually suggested because we've talked about this in discord siddles suggested putting it in the back of the tractor which was sensible. So now there are two wrecks at the starting line of the uh, of the drag strip. I would like to see what it's like when Thandir and Santa try and beat me at drag racing when they are towing three tons of rusted metal behind them. Ah! <laughs> Then all I need is a screenshot of me in one lane beating Thandir and Santa in the other lane. Can you not deny that that is me beating them? 6-4, welcome to the stream. Probably enough in the bank that we can get Alkirian to remove the roll cage and not worry about having the money to put it back in after the drag race is done. 6-4. 6-4, what about... Cheating? Have you considered that? <laughs> yeah, we, that might be something we do, 6-4, yeah. It weakens the hell out of my already weak immune system as well as pregnancy, putting it on the floor. So essentially someone four kilometres up the road could sneeze and I'll get sick. Yeah, stay at home. Fuck it. Alkiron, welcome to the stream. I'm sorry I couldn't. Kitten is in fact... In, in fact... Inspe Kitten's got her inspection. She failed. She didn't have a warning triangle in. Alkiron, good morning. So what we're going to do today... We are going to... We're going to go back up to Alkyrions. We're going to jump in and we're going to deliver the... Oh, so, yeah, so the tractor is also down here just in case we need to drag them around. I had to come back. I had to drive this whole length on the minibike and it was terrifying. However, we're going to have to do another minibike journey today because... What time is it? It's Monday. It's 9am. We're going to take the van up to Alkyrions and we're going to get back in the combine and we're hopefully going to get this job finished. And then wait for whatever's next from Dearest Trim. So that's where we're off. Now you see why I went out of my way to get stuff to make cornbread, Alkyrion. You bitch, you contributed to my cravings. Kitten's got a list of cravings of the length of her arm already. Ginger ale, cornbread, reasoned chocolate chews. That's brilliantly stupid. It's a good idea, right, man, right? I mean, the roll cage, like 6-4 says, the roll cage is probably the reason. But we all voted that you fancy a bit of underhand tactics. Plus the anecdotes, good. So we're going to cheat like crazy, how about that? So, Kitten, were you two packed up a ski slot too? Do you want to know the stupid thing I'll carry on? 
Kitten announced to the Doom House last night that she was pregnant, which is true, by quoting Nice Lady's phone call from My Summer Car. What a fucking nerd. She came in saying, Kitten here, I am going to multiply. My parents say we need to take responsibility or whatever it was. If I could, I legitimately would. Shame it has to be in a temperature control. You're not willing to spend money on temperature controlled shipping for Kitten and the baby. Oh yeah, you're a parent. <laughs> My parents, mates. Did it actually say that? I just skipped over that when I was reading it. My parents were crossed out because I may be a big soft bitch, but my humour is still dark as <laughs> I didn't realise that bit. I guess I was, I was used to the quote, so I just read it to the end as if it was intact. You nerd. So I need to keep posting recipes that will make you crave different foods. Anything works, I'm sure. I actually fucking, I actually checked into Alkiri on stream and had to check out very quickly yesterday because I went in to do some lurking as usual and realised not he was playing Fallout 4, so it was obviously something I couldn't watch. But Alkirion was sat there yesterday in a full vault suit. <laughs> fucking hell, good work. I'll, everybody, click Alkirion's name and give him a follow. By the way, no, you good, Alkirion. You good. I need to do that. So I haven't got the physique that Alkirion's got. It was two months yesterday, that's wild. Wait, if the train's just gone that way, can I take a shortcut to Alkirion's? Nobody look. Oop, shit. Nobody look, nobody look, nobody look. But Stubbler, this is dangerous, you might say. Yeah. Nobody look. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Siddles is going to shoot you his pit boy. I bet they're going for stupid amounts on eBay, right? Didn't they come out with, like, the special edition of one of them? Four. I have Dougie, uh, The train's just gone, so I should be clear. I'll get mine right once a toot. I know it's early to announce it, but I couldn't hold it in anymore, neither could Towns. He announced it to the guild, I was like, ah, fuck it, these nerds need to know. Is it early? I don't know what announcing this kind of thing is like, usually. Meaning you before anyone else. Technically, I did, but I just didn't read it fast enough. <laughs> no, before, uh, before the wider community, I should say. Twelve weeks is the norm. I didn't realise there was a convention. No, I know, Kitten, I'm saying I knew before. Um, I had the opportunity to know like 10 minutes before everybody else because Kitten tested the message she was going to send to the community on me and said, don't read it. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't read it. My best mate just texted me as well saying his other half is expecting again. Wait, Scotty's best mate and Towns are the same person. This changes all the law. Imagine if I'd have read it, Kitten. It would have been the biggest spoiler ever. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay, can I actually get off these lines? I don't know how much of a shortcut that was. You know what? I'll take it. It's Kitten's first and Town's ninth. Yeah. I was actually worried when you would get it just from Kitten here. Yeah, she spoiled the rest of it and said, don't read it. It's ninth that we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that he's in contact with any of them, of course. He's not a lunatic. Extra congrats then, my wife and I have two both girls, it's such fun. Your youngest will be about a year old soon, won't, it, uh, won't she, Dougie? 
was like early 2023, right? Holland. I remember that's a cool name. You're so <laughs> worried you're having a girl. Why? Harder to turn into a Leeds fan. You already dubbed it a boy and so has everyone else. Do you know, I actually made a joke yesterday and wrote he myself. Great memory. Turned one a little over a month ago. Three and one now. Good stuff. I remember you coming in and announcing it, Dougie, when I was entering the Broodmother's Cave for the first time in um, Grounded. I don't know why I remember that. Bye. Loud songs, come on. Your family genes, it's going to be a girl. What, is there a pattern? Everyone I know is spawning. So then you're going to have to get on it. If I get Chris Man pregnant, it changes everything. Okay, right. Uh, we need to set this shit up again. I don't really want to drive this, but this is one of the things that we need to get done. I don't know if there's anything else after this from Trim. I can assume so. Multiplying. It's addition. <laughs> Duplicating, right? Multiplying by... One. No, two. Fuck. I know, Dougie, but my generation of kids in my family are like 26 girls and three boys. I don't want to have girls. Plus, it's like like WoW characters, right? You've lived your life as a, as a female. You want to experience what it might be like from the other side. Other, you know? Alright. Uh, what have I got here? I don't need to sleep. So what I'm going to do is, if I park the van here... I could take this over to Trim's farm, which is down that road, um, most of the way down that road. Then I only have to do a quick trip back in the mini bike, right? If Trim, right, Trim better actually pay me like a massive amount of money for this, because this is just almost as ridiculous as Bales. I'm the youngest of four. We have nine girls and two boys. I feel you there, kid. Oh, you uh, among the uh, the nieces and nephews, you mean? Right. Will that sit there? Just fucking sit. Yes. Do I need anything else for this journey? We should be good, right? This is going to be a long one. We need long, boring topics of conversation. If I can get the fucking thing started again, this thing's a pain in the ass. I've never done this before. Well, I've got halfway, but I've never completed this before. Boys are just easy. Be tough, wrap your willy, don't be stupid. Don't get anyone pregnant, don't get addicted to alcohol, and don't crash your car at 21. 21? Uh, don't crash your car before you get to 21. Even though you are hell-bent on doing all of the above at all times. You say simple, but have you seen Giant right? Your siblings in yeah 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 I got you combined two girls and two boys. Okay. Uh come on, right. Speed control we want at I don't know, let's put it at fifty percent just to see if it starts easier. Can't start it in gear. Parking brake off, maybe that helps. Fuck, I can't remember this one. Oh, yeah, put the throttle up. There we are. Nearly. Nearly. Put throttle all the way up. Okay. Speed control off. Fuck these things, guys. Surprises me when people rattle off small numbers when including the nieces and nephews. My family's fucking massive. How about zero? You fucking start. I can't rev it, can I? There's no such thing as revving, because I don't think this thing even has a throttle. There we go. Okay, so I did have it in the wrong direction. Alright, put it in reverse. Put it in forward. Speed control up. Got the drinks, got the food, got the mini bike for the helmet, got the mini bike itself, uh, helmet for the mini bike. Just got to get out of this slightly tricky piece of 
terrain. In fact, let's just reverse it. Can't really see what I'm doing, but crashing into the Ferndale wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It's not like we're too bothered about uh, upsetting Alkirion, is it? Yeah, you say simple. Have you seen Jimed, right? handle a tantrum. I can't handle them hating me the moment they turn 13. My nephews have more tantrums than the girls though, kittens, so watch out for that. Right, can I... Speed control's up, throttle's all the way up, so once I get onto the top, onto the road and off this little bit of awkward terrain, we'll jam the speed and go upwards of six miles per hour. Fine, just sick the entire Doom House on them to shame them. We'd never shame anybody, so then apart from all your fucking own goals and Bobble League yesterday, which carried the oranges, thank you very much. I've got cousins, yeah, I've got, we've got two cousins, but nieces and nephews, zero. Because it's just me and Gunnwood. I tried to ex avoid contact with extended family for reasons. That's what I get for assuming that all conversations are about me. <laughs> Wait, can this even fit over Martin Bridge? I never thought about that. Don't speak to anyone in my family, I'm just looking for context as to how he has no cousins. They've got cousins, definitely. Our father's got two brothers and our mother's got two brothers. So we've got cousins. Oh, I thought he was talking about nieces and nephews. Yeah, Dougie and I were talking about nieces and nephews. Please fit over Martin Bridge. Please. Easy. There'll be a thumbnail in that. There's the confusion. It's not about understanding each other in the Doomers. It's about working out where the confusion lies. What's this like at getting up hills, incidentally? should just be slow but doable. Please don't stop because I've got no other alternative to getting up this hill. Please? I'm assuming it can just crawl up hills in first gear at full throttle. But if Cousin arrives now, I'm kind of screwed. And so is he. There's an even bigger number because all the damn girls got at least two kids or more. Literally, my brother is the only one not with a kid slash expecting now. Come on. Come on, big one. Push. It is making it up these hills, isn't it? Just extremely slowly. I need a beer. I'm having a beer. And it's the 90s, so littering's fine, right? Now nah, this is as fast as it goes up hill, kid, and it's just in first gear. I've got it in first so it can climb this fucking hill. Once it goes downhill, we'll be all right, but this is quite a rocky bit of terrain coming up. This, this might be as steep as it gets, though, so we should be all right. It's only because it's uphill. We'll get a bit more speed out of it once it crests. Like, maybe now, even. But yeah, this is slow. In fact, it feels too slow. Here we go, look, we're cresting the hill. Get ready for unlimited speed. Oh, look at that, eh? It goes this fast instead. So, how has everybody been? We need to try and predict what Trim's going to pay me for this. He paid 3,400 for... No, 3,600 for bills. And that took two weeks. This has taken very little time and effort, but I feel like he owes me for the bills job, let alone this. What does he give me for this? Kick up the ass, probably.
If it's anything less than eight grand, I'm going to run him over with his own combine. Or I would do, but he'll probably just outwalk it. I wonder what percentage of people have actually completed this. Does anybody know if there's an achievement for the combine? Because it must be low. Okay, another hill. This one actually does feel a bit steep. Let me see if I can do it in second. There's a bit more power in second. Well, there isn't. It's the opposite, but you'd hope there's a bit more of a capacity for higher speeds. So that's not bad. Do you anything to do with third? We mastered that one. Alright, just get to the top and then we can go down. I'm so worried about Cousin. Cousin arriving from behind would maybe be the most preferable. Because I don't fancy him just driving straight into the front of this. Five days in prison is not the worst thing in the world anymore, but it's still not something I would just, like... I wouldn't avoid if I could. Whoa, look at that raw speed! Fuck! Eat that land speed record. Did I re replay Scotty's sub? I did, didn't I? I think I did. Scotty, thank you for the sub if I didn't. Slow down, I'd be sick. <laughs> I did, good, good, good. That's just morning sickness, kitten. This is fine. You can handle these speeds. God, oh, this is a bit fury here. Oh, that'd have been a good string title, actually. Slow and the, the slow and the furious. Stupid fucking. So morning sickness kicks in that early. Be prepared, Kitten, for me to ask you a million billion questions during this. The moment you wake up. No, I mean early. I mean early in the pregnancy. What is morning sickness? I don't even know what morning sickness is. So it's more prevalent in the first trimester. Huh. So it's going to go away... Well, at least going to diminish relatively soon. If you're a normal case. It's where you feel sick in the morning. Sky! Optimus Prime has had our sexy change and is now our combine harvester. He's our transformer. <laughs> sexy. <laughs> sexy. Look, Optimus Prime has had a sex change and is now a combine harvester. He's a transformer. <laughs> Santa. I say this quite regularly, I feel. But the typo really made that one. Santa, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Sexy change. Jesus. No idea, I just feel nauseous all day. When I eat, it goes away for a bit and then you feel nauseous again. Weird. What's doing that? I mean, it's easy to just say hormonal change as an answer to pretty much everything in this, isn't it, I suppose? But mostly first trimester, yeah. Sometimes it comes back in the third, but that's uncommon. You're almost through, kid. You just need to roll a one out of a hundred for it to be bad. So it's just a hormonal imbalance. Kitten just went, yeah! You see that? It's like she's she's got a, a whip and she's keeping a lying back or something. Pregnancy's weird. According to the NHS, it's 90% hormones. Yeah. They'll fuck you up. Judy Chop. Judge Judy. It's got launched out of a cannon. Yeah! Did I bring the... I did bring the helmet, didn't I? Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, helmet, come back. Actually, I'm worried that might just disappear. Helmet! Sit there. Yeah, a bit more comfortable there. I like this because it's got a hand throttle that, unlike the tractor, isn't useless. 
in terms of like autopilot. But just there's no throttle, so I'm just steering. Oh, 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 oh. He says, nearly drives off the road. <clears throat> the exact cause of motion sickness is unknown. It may be caused by hormone changes or lower blood sugar during early pregnancy. Emotional stress, fatigue, travelling or some foods can make the problem worse. Nausea in pregnancy is more common and can be worse with twins or triplets. So it, it, it's still unknown. I like that kind of thing. There's something quite romantic about the fact that we're something so unbelievably vital to the human experience and there's still large parts of it that are unknown. It's a bit like not being quite sure how life got started on the planet and stuff. Like It's nice to have little mysteries to work at. Reference to an old video, Redneck Karate. How would he would shout Judo Chop over and over again when it came out as Judy Chop. Oh, I see. Here's me thinking you was just obsessed with Judge Judy. She just goes squatting a field to have it. <laughs> the farm away, right? Come on! I think we're about halfway on this combine journey. I mean, I don't know where Trim wants it. I assume we'll just pull it into his shed. Bathtubs are all the rage now. That's just because it's easy to clean up. I know these things. I cut my hair in the bath for the same reason. Little water paddling pools, yeah. Knelt in there screaming and shouting. When you think cousin appear, I am actually nervous about that. But the thing is, he's never killed himself on the front of the tractor because the tractor doesn't go fast enough. So we never actually meet each other at too high of a speed. And he's braked by that point and just bumps into the front of the tractor. He's hit the tractor all sorts of times, but never been going fast enough because I aren't going at him fast enough. A bathtub's an actual rage. Even before I got fat, I was too big to be comfortable in tubs, which ruined the entire point of them. So I've been a shower dude all my life. For pregnancy. For giving birth, so. Huh? Baths are weird. Yeah, I think. I mean, you're quite tall as well, so then, right? You're over six feet. I'm six foot flat and I'm too tall for baths. It's uncomfortable. It's like 90% of... Well, not 90, but... Like... 40% of my body stuck out of the water and I can't fill the bath to the point where I can get all of it underwater. Therefore, it's uncomfortable and you get cold and, yeah. And you're tall as well, right, Serpent? So there might just be that. There's just no way to submerse, to fully... Submerse, is that the word? I thought I was 4'11". <laughs> That's like the perfect way of explaining you, son, but it's, it, it's like, I don't know. Oh, look at him. So fan there. Heightist. He's backtracking, he could feel Twitter knocking on his door. I hate having bats. Little todger is like a periscope. Yeah, yeah, that as well. You don't want to look down and see all that floating about, yeah. Disgusting. But you're probably the same, right, Sky? There's just no feasible way to get fully underwater in a bath. And your knees and legs always get cold, and your shoulders and... It, oh. And I'm very pretty average height. Never mind you, nerds. Plus, I always tend to run a little hot. You know them people in winter who are always really fucking cold and freezing and shivering and... Like I, when I used to work outside, everybody I worked with was wrapped up in about 50 layers and I was sweating in a jumper. Or a, a sweater. Whereas in the summer everybody was basking like salamanders and really enjoying it and I was dead. 
So whenever I get in the bath, I just immediately overheat and then start to feel dizzy and uncomfortable. Can only get in a jacuzzi bath, yeah. If I had a massive bath, I could, yeah, that's the thing. You need to get, you need a big bath. Don't you? I still have a bath now and again. Fuck that! I take an alternative in having a walled-in shower with water coming from. That would be good. That would be good. The only problem, well, the other problem with the bath for me is can't get out the fucking thing. That may also technically be a bath thing. Good about it. Why? What's the what's the technicality that could consider that a bath? I suppose if you consider if you only consider a shower as water raining down on you, well, like a car wash. I don't like being wet. I don't mind when you're swimming or whatever. But like. When you're in your own house, and you're wet. I don't like. It. I don't. I don't understand them people that get out of the shower wet, wrap a towel around them, and go and sit on the couch or wander about. Or I hate it. I need to get dry as soon as possible. Four walls and a faucet. That's a... <laughs> if you filled a four-walled shower up to neck height, so that I think you could consider that a bath. A standing bath. And then with a band or a partner. I think Hugh Grant was in Four Walls and a Fossil. God, this road is never ending. I hope you don't want this doing again. It can get screwed. She does that. She has a shower and spends half an hour. Yeah, my worst half does as well. Oh, I don't like it though. No. I'll procrastinate getting in the shower for ages because I just don't want to get wet. Yeah, I love swimming. I think I don't mind it when I'm swimming because it's somebody else's property that you're getting all wet and manky. Saying that when I'm in the shower, I don't have to. the second I turn that water off, yeah. When you're swimming, you've got other people's ass water getting your eyes and hair in the shower, it's only yours. It's fine. The last thing I want to think about is. The last thing I want is to be the type of person that thinks too much about that sort of cleanliness. I'd never go out the house. Let's have another beer. I think beer actually reduces hunger. Ooh, maybe not. Turn, 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 turn. There's Dreams Farm. We're nearly there. Fuck this job. And Cousin's not caused any issues yet. Imagine I get all the way down here and then run trim over. Stop swimming. Yeah, run trim over. Stop swimming up people's bums and surfing. Scotty, I've been telling him that for years. He's never going to learn. See that? You see the road on the right that just that bends off towards the red building. That's it. That's the end. Maybe, in fact, now I don't have to worry about cousin, but I might also sneak into the farm in a direction where I don't. I also don't have to worry about running over trim. If it'll fit. Maybe we'll go all the way around the back and attack the, the shed from the back. Should I get out and talk to him, maybe? So the parking brake's on, right? Yeah.
Where is he? I'm not running him over, Seth, and I need him. Treb! Treb! How I know this game, you'll just say the obvious. Yeah, but he might tell me where to park it or something, cats. Cats, welcome to the stream. Trim, talk to me. Hello. You all right? I've got your combine. Where do you want it? In the shed? I, I won. I won. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Just don't hit the back wall. Cats, good afternoon. Where it has been. Well, I know that. I was just, just checking. It's, it is FCI, but also cats. I was just interested in knowing whether um, he had any unique dialogue. Because we wouldn't have any other opportunity to hear it, would we? Stop or you'll summon him IRL. Trim doesn't exist in real life, kid. Life's a bit better if you live it, if you see it that way. Parking brake off. First gear engaged. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll go around. No, Trim's there, look. That's perfect. You can't see him because of the pillar, but he's just behind the pillar on the tractor. My perp there he is, look. Now that you mention it, my anxiety is gone. There you go. Just deny Trim exists and then you're good. Okay, he's gone completely. Shall I just put... Right, now you say that, cat, so I'm just going to put it in the shed exactly the way it was before. So which means... Oh, God, backing it in is going to be a pain. I'm also worried that if I hit the back walls, he's going to complain. He's already complained, and I'm yet to do it. Then again, we've got quite a good view. Fuck it. Can we be sure that Trim's nowhere near? Yeah, he was miles away, wasn't he? Not quite a fast at uh, reverse gear, is it? Can't see him. Tease it. Tease it. Don't hit the back wall. I hit the back wall. That's not going to sting me, is it? Welch. Nice nah, there, he's good. You good at your trim? I hope I don't have to take all my goods off it for him to acknowledge it. Say it, welcome to the stream. Or should I say, on this successful week, Dark. We need to. So often I don't understand the reference. Trim, come back. Trim. How much? Eight grand. Job's done, it seems. Now, here's a little money for your troubles. Eight grand. Eight grand. What did he just say? I didn't even see that. I was too angry about what he didn't pay me. I'm going to click that just to see. Eh. Next time he calls, am I well within my rights to just not answer? Stingy prick. All that work. And I got fucking four grand. What did he say? So thanks and goodbye. What a... Mina, welcome to the stream. I feel like I haven't seen your main account in a very long time. Mina Prime. That is nice and thanks, kind of like that. Thank you, cats. Thanks and have a good day. No, what, did he just walk straight through my face? 3,600-ish for the bales, mind, right? Yeah, and 1,500 for the tractor. What a... Better off hunting for wrecked cars. I know where two wrecked cars are. 
because I've been doing some prep work. My ass isn't Judas, damn it. <laughs> My favourite orange. Sohan's performance yesterday in uh, in Bobble League was outstanding. For the record, for those of you that are wondering, Bobble League is a Discord football game type of thing where you just pull, you've all got a player each and you pull back and just let it go and it goes bing, like that. Very simple. We played green versus orange last night. There was, what, seven of us? Three oranges versus four greens and Sothan scored so many own goals. It was amazing. And the oranges won five of ra five rounds. Ah, oh, catchy cat talk over brilliance. We played some good games, actually. There was another game that we played um, called... What was that game called that Cats did? It was like two... Fuck off. <laughs> What's back in the apartment, Cass? Curve fever, was it, maybe? So what we're going to do next week, which the sign-up is in the Discord for those that fancy joining, is we're going to uh, we're going to look up a bunch of flash games, and, not flash games, browser-based games and stuff. And just do that. Curve fever, that's the one. And I got two goals, so that cancels out. <laughs> Now we drive back to the van, and then that is at least the combine section of Trim's bullshit completed. Now we just have to not get shot by a cousin. It feels weird seeing you on the main account, Mainer, has it? I don't recognise you. We'll be Kitten and Kitten from now on. Yeah, no, because Kitten's going to have to upgrade her name from Kitten to uh, Cat. For those that have joined recently and didn't know, Kitten announced yesterday she is pregnant. Pretty good. I'm going to keep saying that, Kitten. Bye, Trim. Cat and caboodles, yeah. Cats are just kittens. Cats <laughs> cute. There you go, yeah, cat caboodles. The hell Adobe tried to charge my account after I cancelled my subscription two months ago. You can't get out that easy, so far. I don't get killed for cu by cousin now. Frosty, good afternoon. How's it going? I've just driven a combine harvester the length of the map at four. No, what was it? Eight kilometres per hour. Then I thought Mina was at her mum's for a week or so while some shit in the apartment was getting done. I guess reading between the lines was just guessing that. She oh, he was asking Mina about the apartment. I see. I see. I thought he was talking to me about something in game cats, that's the only reason I asked. I literally know shit all about me. You moved in yesterday, me. Shit. Oh shit, I need to get thingy downloaded actually. Good work, me. Everybody's getting good news. It even says I had no paid plans. I'm just checked for cousin. But it sent me a message saying they tried to charge my account. Fuck off the door. Did it bounce at least? It'd be nice to know that they didn't get your money. It was raining the entire day. It only ever rains. There's two weather options for when you're moving house. Either it's absolutely throwing it down or it's so hot that you can't breathe. Uh, I don't think anybody's playing Skull and Bones Frosty now. Didn't look interesting to me at all, really. I never actually liked that aspect of Black Flag, so I was very much not the target audience. Right, no cousin. Good. Yeah, the combine was slightly faster than walking. Right, I'm going to take this steady. The mission in my summer car today, Frosty, actually just got completed. Yeah, what do we do now? I suppose we just get on with normal life in Periavi, right? Straw Press one for strawberries. In fact, I need to do a QU batch, so we'll nip down the dump. And I'll show you my hard work over the weekend. Now you can finally play the game. Okay, get Prayer of Healing up. I meant to say Fortitude, I don't know about where, apparently. 
So Kitten, have you thought of it? Sounds like they had my old card or something. Oh, so it bounced at least. Good. Have you thought? I haven't thought of anything clever or funny to say, so congratulations. <laughs> The thing around here, isn't it? You, you feel like you need to think of some something funny or something major, but sometimes it doesn't come, and you have to be just a pleasant human. I mean, the rally's going to be after the, the drag strip mind, right? So, it, both in game schedule and on the to-do list. I just meant between now and Friday. Some bullshit. We have to think of some bullshit, don't you? The second we were done. Oh, last time I moved in before this, it rained the entire move. The second we were done, the sun came out and it was hot. Well, you got both on one go. So is it all decorated now, Mina? Yeah. Right. No cousin on the hill. Are we good? Being a pleasant human is amateur hour in the Doom House. Being a pleasant human is implied, but it isn't really... Um, what's the word? It doesn't really come out in our behaviour. Okay, slow, slow. Slow. Now it's all unpacking boxes and hanging pictures and I can't find my towels. Yeah, that's been his excuse to not wash. He's always looking for an excuse. And just like that, we've survived the second portion of today's stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lovely. So I suppose, by the way, look at the reverse gear on the minibike. It's literally putting your feet down at the side and just kicking backwards. Brilliant. Soon I'll smell like crisis, imagine. I oh, need crisis to come back just for one day so we can tell him how much he stinks. Just one day. Alright, good. Um, I'll have... We'll have a seek, we'll have a wee wee, and then... I suppose we drive to the dump. Okay, I mean, I noticed today, even after a shower and putting on deodorant, I could s smell whatever what I thought was weed. It turns out... It was just smelling my natural deodorant and my own funk. Which is identical to weed, is it not, Kim? Should I save? Yeah, I'm gonna say I don't save enough in this game. Cause if I ever crash now and we have to do the combine again. It's not worth it, is it? I'm gonna save real quick and come back in, just to bank the progress. Just in case it crashes. A scent very much identified with weed. Oh, your deodorant is patchouli? A scent that's identified with weed. No more smoking that for well over a year now, kid. You actually you managed to quit the day you found out. Damn. Pretty level. Right, let me sleep. Not sleep. I don't sleep on the toilet. Don't accuse me of that again. You animals. No nicotine, no weed, only caffeine I take in is Pepsi. Damn, kitten's going hard. Or soft, I can't work out which it is. I only ever notice my own smell when I'm overdue a shower. Yeah. Oh God, when I had the flu the other week. I couldn't get out of bed to... Because of the nausea. So I laid there for like three days without showering. In bed. <laughs> She didn't mention it, but every time I moved, I thought, what the hell is this? What's wrong with the drains? Plus, when you're ill, you smell worse anyway, don't you? Yeah, that was the deal I told him the moment I found out I'd drop it all. I want no reason for anything to go wrong. True. The thing is, maybe the hormones got me funky. She doesn't mean she stinks. She means she's been dancing for a week at this point. I can tick. Can I tick? I suppose I can, can't I? There goes Cousin. If I could know which direction Cousin's gone in. Game load! Sounds like it's to my left. 
Game. Let me in. Game. That was to my left, right? I think that's cousin going that way, if that's what I could hear. Okay. Got any smells that's different to you? I've heard them pregnant hormones can really mess with that. I think it's just, is it just essentially nine months of getting completely tornadoed by hormones in every single aspect of your uh, life and physical well-being? Well, let me let the glow plugs warm up, then we'll turn it on, and I want to go and check the to-do list real quick. What time is it? 6 p.m. Can I just nip to the dump real quick? Yeah, I'll show you my handiwork when we get down there as well. Banger. So it's not the to-do list, is it? I've put the actual to-do list on here. Right, what we got on here now? Podium rally finish still needs to be done. Ah, it says finish working for trim. I suppose we'll leave that, because I don't know what the next phone call's going to be, if any. Because he won't exactly like, thank you for helping me, I'm done with your services now. But if nothing comes in for the next week or so, then we can take that off, I suppose. They yeah, smell them, they're relatively close but intense, pretty much. The smell is, oh shit, have I just stalled? I don't think I've ever stalled the van. We're not fueled at it, no. Alright, Um, I tell you what, we'll go on the main road, fuck it. I've not drunk any, have I? Actually, I have, I've had two beers. So I can smell... Smell the neighbour smoking in their garden, I've never had that happen before. I can smell the bins out back behind the gardens too. Really keen sense of smell, and now it's just intense. Is that a thing? Does your sense of smell get crazy? My brain auto completed. I was just worried for a second that you could smell your neighbours. She's in prison, Mina. Her neighbours are like three feet away. I'm not sure, but it is for me. I mean... Stubbler starts talking evolutionarily again. Drink. But, did I take the... Where's the helmet? Yeah. I'm going to wear the helmet on the main road. <laughs> I'm scared all of a sudden. I was gonna say. What was that about? Yeah, if pregnant people did get a heightened sense of smell, you could understand evolutionarily why that would be an advantage, right? So if it is a thing that's more widespread than just yourself, it does make sense. But if it's not, you're a weirdo and you should be ashamed of yourself. You need to smell danger, you need to smell disease, you need to. St all sorts, I suppose smell things that could cause disease. Didn't you get that when you dropped smoking si Oh, yeah! No, 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 that's true. Yeah, when you stop smoking cigs, your sense of smell goes through the ceiling. That happened to me as well, cats, actually. Because your airwaves clear, don't they, and stuff. Could be both. Oh, there we go. About two-thirds of pregnant women say they're more sensitive to scents. Called hyperso hypersomia? Hyperosmia. Changing in the hormone levels could be the cause. Huh. I suppose you've got both barrels then, kitten, yeah. Yeah, that was weird when I stopped smoking, because your face just, like, this is disgusting. But your lungs and your face and everything just completely empty themselves, don't they? Kitten is a dog now. Am I... I'm just quite a long journey, isn't it? How very dare you. So the solution to you being stuck in bed, sick, not being able to shower, was to smoke. Yeah! Wah! I could have been laid there watching YouTube and smoking for a week. I wasted my life. was my one chance. Yeah, that was a solution for her, just burning off the, the odours in the atmosphere. God, yeah, when I was laid there, stinking, unwell, with the flu the other week, if I had a lit a match or a lighter, I'd have blown up there after the building. The weird thing is, right, I feel full. 
So it's screwed your appetite. Like, you know, when you eat too much and your tummy feels bloated and stretched. Yeah, 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 you feel like that? Because inside there's a little baby. Gwynblade, welcome to the stream and thank you for the prime. You didn't get a chance to roll your eyes at the number, Gwynblade. Gwynblade, thank you for the 70 minus one months. I appreciate it, Gwynblade. And welcome to the stream. The size of a jelly bean. <laughs> Very much like the TV show that I just quoted. We're going to need to know what size it is every week. You go to the walnut, then to a Brazil nut, then to a golf ball. That makes sense. A lot of tissue around that too. Yeah, true. A little baby. A honeybee. Now we're all fat people that don't go outside, kid. Jelly bean, we know that. Honeybees are part of the distant past. Ooh, stretch. I really want to play Fallout 4 on controller. Because I've been playing Fallout 3 on controller and it's about a thousand times better. Especially when you're doing sweaty survival stuff. But, it does hurt my back sat like that. Don't overtake. Whenever I'm playing controller, I just go like that. So I need to, I need to get a better posture while playing. Okay. Fucking hell, loud song. Chill out. Keep it at the food. <laughs> Last week it was a smarty. This week it's a jelly bean. If we're a jelly baby next. Just for fat bastards, yeah. I would do fruit, but not in this place. Fruit works. Because it's high in sugar. Can't believe I'm wearing a helmet in the van. I'm so scared of this run ending now. Especially we're on 19 grand. No, I want wine gums, you bitch. Wine gums. What? Yeah, no. Fruit salad. Our reasons, chocolate chews. Yeah, you're not allowed wine gums in your condition. Add that to your list of cravings. <laughs> then Gwynblade can't say anything with his sass. Have you been introduced to lion's fruit salad since you moved to this country, kid? Oh. Oh. The rare... Chewy fruit and sweets. The Maynard's wine guns. They're like that, but really solid and chewy. Whoa. I don't think you'll. I, I don't know if you can. Could you buy them in Tesco or something? I don't know if you could. Did an e liquid of it. <laughs> I'm sure that was very represented. Did I just drive by where I'm supposed to be pulling off? I did. They're not, they're not that hard, but they are a, a hard sweet. Whoa. Chewy. The type of thing that our parents' parents grew up on, and we grew up on as well. Maynard's ones are terrible, yeah. Lion's one. Or, oh, better. Do you know, I've never explored the ski ramps before. One day. Or, oh, better. You need to get them from um, those are fruit salads Satan, as opposed to wine guns you need to get them from one of them little dark sweet shops that you walk in and it feels like you've gone back in time and there's a little 135 year old lady that like has to scroll has to roll a ladder across the shelves at the back and she climbs up and gets a jar down from the top shelf and you walk out of the sweet shop with your fruit salad in a little white paper bag and you look at your watch and zero time has passed one of them, they're the best fruit salad never like wine gums, fruit salad I could eat all day, blackjacks could fuck off 
Wait, I'm thinking of... Yeah, the, not the fruit, yeah. Put the, somebody posted a picture of Lion's Fruit Salad. What we're talking about, Sid, the fruit salad are good, though. The ones you're talking about. The green and the... Sorry, the pink and yellow sweets. They are tippy-toppers. Fruit salad, it's like... um. They're like shaped like the actual fruits, and they're little hard, all one colour, chewy things. Oh, I could eat some fruit salad right now. They have these weird lime green bottle sweets that didn't taste of anything I could put my finger on, but they were lovely. They never taste like what they're meant to, do they? Peach ring? Oh, I could go for some peach rings. Oh, yeah. Me and Mombi used to fight about this almost every day because she didn't like them, but party rings. Oh, party rings. They were the tits. I don't know why Mombi didn't like them. But I do miss fighting with her every day about party rings. Yeah, look up party rings, UK. They're like these little white biscuits that have this sugary frosting on top. And they're all daft colours for kids, but... Oh... Yeah, the biscuits. Party rings. Do you see my eyes glazing over? I get so excited thinking about party rings. I used to be on her side, but I've come round to her. Party, party rings. So good. There's something... I don't know, there's something particularly decadent about party rings. They are foxes, I think, yeah. We'll get into that. We had fox, foxes biscuits at the top. What's Chellis been eating foxes biscuits during... Uh, During golf lately. Oh, I like this discussion. I don't know, look at the fruit salad in Disco. Yeah, they're the ones that sit. It might be a northern thing, thinking about it. I don't know if I've ever talked to somebody from south of Sheffield that knows about that, with about fruit salad in the past. There's a little coastal town on the east coast of uh, Yorkshire called Flamborough. And it's got a couple of stony beaches, but it's got a lot of cliffs. And we ended up doing a fuckload of work there previously in a, for a prior job. And on the way home, every Thursday, we'd stop off at exactly the sweet shop I just described. It was on a little corner near a pub, and we'd sit and chew fruit salad all the way home, and it was heaven. I ordered myself some Jolly Ranchers, but couldn't to help cull uh, call the nausea. Apparently, the hard sweets help you create saliva and keeps nausea down. Saliva is good for anti-nausea. Been to Flamerhead a few times to see the seals. Yeah, Flamerhead's nice actually. Like a lot of them coastal towns, so it's the same all across the country, but it's especially the same on the east coast, because the east coast has the jagged rocks, obviously, because it was on it was attached to Europe a couple of million years ago. As opposed to the long, flat beaches you get on the west coast. I was going to say, the good thing about Flamborough is it's not been touristed did, 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 at all. Like, there's no fucking amusements, there's no bingo halls, there's no none of that stuff. Because it's just a tiny little village. And it exists, it's hard to know what decade you're in when you're in that town. Good chip is. Well. Alright, I picked up the stuff, I'm going to do another kill you batch. And then, let me show you this. What time is it? What time are we yeah. Sour is ideal, but these, yeah, I suppose sour would do the same thing, right? Saliva wise. I only learned that myself looking at ways to help get rid of the headache. Learn on the job, right? Paracetamol does nothing for me, and Nurofen is dangerous. So, Nurofen can be dangerous to pregnant people. Speaking of northern towns, I booked tickets to see Richard Herring's podcast live at Hull City Hall at the end of March. He hadn't announced the guests till today. Tommy Cannon and but no way. Oh, that's perfect. I'd put a lottery ticket on Gwynblade if I were you. Paracetamol does nothing for me and uh, nothing is in shit. Ibuprofen, I see. I can't think of anywhere better to celebrate 67 months than sat on a toilet in a Premier Inn next to Newcastle <laughs> Airport. Happy anniversary, Daddy. 
Siddles, how's it going? Talk to us. Everybody here wants to know. Siddles, thank you for 67 months and welcome to the stream. You're going to have to give us a progress report. Right, everybody, this is what I've been preparing. You'll notice that the tractor is at the drag strip, which is unlike the tractor. And that is there for backup purposes because I want to show you my new strategy for winning at the drag strip. You might already have guessed. It was big and smelly. What, Newcastle? As we stand, as we park here, you may notice, like, imagine this, he's standing here in his car and he's like... Does his burnout, right? Warms his tyres up, pulls up to here. And then he reverses back up to behind the white line. And then he pulls up to the white line, to the yellow line. And he gets his first light, then his second light. And then he stops here and he waits for Gindright to pull up to that line. But Gindright doesn't immediately pull up to that line. Gindright does this. I'd like to think I can beat Thandir in this scenario, which I will. Beat Thandir in a one-on-one. -on -one. You'll notice the to-do list only says beat the nerds at the drag strip. I'll be beat Thandir in that race. And then Santa might pull over here and you can imagine something very similar happening there. <laughs> now, can you deny that I didn't beat either of them at the drag strip? Easy. They'd have been happy enough with Tommy Cannon alone, but it's crackers. We put the tickets at the end of August. Yeah, get a lottery ticket put on Gwindley, that's perfect. And now don't you all come in here. Don't you come in here, I'll carry on and say it's cheating. It is. But the to-do list wasn't specific. Did you just say fruit salad is a regional thing? Uh, the stuff that Gwynblade's put in Discord cats, it's this particular type of uh, chewy sweet. And it might be, I don't know if it is or it isn't. Scotty, Satan, and anybody else that's further south than Sheffield in this... Well, 6-4 as well, I suppose. Are you aware of what um, the, f the sweets Gwynblade's put in Discord? I thought it said to be honest, but I was reading it and the NHS said it's a no no. Probably worth listening to. Yeah, I've also got the tractor here, by the way, and the tractor is here for. Um, in case something goes wrong, dragging the wrecks back. Because we're going to have to. Th Thandy is easy, because he just pulls up and then we go next to him, and that's easy when you first get here. But Santa's a different story. I missed the early explanation. Do you deal with a potential prison? I did, uh, mind right, yeah. It turns out. That after all of that, 64 grand fine, I only got a two day prison sentence. Therefore, I, I burnt it off easily. I'm starting to think that the prison sentence is fixed, yet the fine is based on the amount of time you've spent in game. Does that make sense? So I, this save file now is so advanced that the fines are ridiculous, but the prison sentence is the same. So I burnt it off. So in Sheffield, even in Sheffield, there's not... Yeah, it might be a northern thing then. Like a super northern thing. Yeah, we do have the fruit salad, like the branded fruit salads. I don't even know what brand does those. So yeah, that's the goal. You're aware of them, but rarely seen them. I never considered that might be a thing, though. I suppose it makes sense. It might not even be a West thing. As you're welcome to the stream. We have them over here, I think, or something similar. Yeah, there's a lot of alternatives here as well, but those are really specific, those. And so good. Had them, I believe, and they're a very weird taste. Probably not the same. Yeah, maybe not identical. All right, let's go home. I feel like that was a successful day today. We've got the combine dropped off. We picked up the um, heal you stuff. 
I guess the sub I was saying before, we can just play the game now. Match. Siddle, thank you for the sub. And good luck on the remainder of your poo. Neffers, welcome to the stream. Barrett's do chewy fruits out there. Sorry, the Barrett's do the, the chewy ones. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, the, the pink and orange things. Thank you, Neffers, and welcome to the stream. Barrett's, yeah, that makes sense. Are they the people that do licorice all sorts? Are they Barrett's? Jelly Babies, whatever they're called. Have a strange flavour. Yeah, they're weird, aren't they? A bit. Oh, that's an early cousin, which I will take. That means I can just drive home now. How's that cousin not killed? Back had a call right as you were explaining what they were. I know the ones you mean after seeing the picture in Discord. Can't remember what they're called here. Fruit gums, I think. Yeah, well, they're branded as. Yeah. The trouble with these things is there's a hell of a lot of different brands of different things, right? These ones are made by a company called Lions. That was Tartologist. Why is the powder on? What is that powder? I don't trust it. It's a Psyop. It's Anthrax. Barrett, yeah. Oh, it's Bassets that do... Uh, uh, licorice all sorts. Brad will be Welsh's fruit snacks, but they do look... The same as fruit salad, yeah. We've got quite a lot of alternatives that look the same. In fact, as we said earlier, the Maynard's company that make wine gums that are very popular in this country, they tried to make them and they didn't get it right either. And they literally tried to make fruit salad and it wasn't as good. They're good, but not as good. Saying that, Gwynblade, can we even guarantee that the cheap ones we were getting in the shop when we were babes were lions? I'm about to lose my mind. Oh, you mean wine gums, I see. Barrett's are in Ponte. Are Barrett's in Ponte? Oh, yeah. No, I don't know if I knew that. Along with Harry. Yeah, Harry. You can see the factory off the M62, can't you? The Harry Little factory. It looks like a fucking... It looks like something off Star Wars. It's like this big industrial grey... Looks like Darth Vader's timeshare. Oh, wine gums are the first the snack you had here. Yeah, what is that? I didn't realise that Barrett's were in Ponte. Ponte Carlo. Round trees in Yorkshire as well, isn't it? Uh, in round trees in York. See, this is what it is, kitten. You've moved to a place with good sweets. Yeah, I couldn't work there. It smells nice when passing, but I can't imagine... Yeah, imagine getting it all quick. Just awful. You can see it just outside the city, yeah. Walker's cheese and onion crisps, wine gums and a Red Bull to combat the jet lag. Walker's cheese and onion, though. Oh. It's the same powder that's in those candies that people have in their car. Nice ra Oh, yeah, travelling sweet. I forgot they existed. Can you still get travelling sweets? Yeah, they were the tits, them. That powder was ace. Not allowed to wipe it on the seats, though. Travelling sweets. That would be the perfect snack for uh, buy some a car, wouldn't it? I mean, anything is a travelling sweet, Satan, but the ones that were specifically designated as such, branded around it, they were... Whoa! Sod limiting it, limiting it to tins. Look at the hard candies, and you most certainly can. Drink guess for me is... Lim oh, shit, it's mid break time. Doug is right. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to park near the train lines in case the van just slowly drifts up onto the track. We're going to park here. I'm going to go for a midstream break. I think we're about ready, you know. Let's make as much fucking money as possible and pick as many strawberries in the gap between now and Friday. And then the big cheat is on. Deal?
But first, I'm going to have a quick midstream break, which Satan's in charge of. And I shall be back, everybody, in two minutes. Oh, it's Jamie, you're talking about goodies. I'm going to have to go and get... No, you don't want to sit near me fucking chewing on stream, do you? That's the last thing you need. Crunching, especially. Right, we're back. Two minutes. Satan's in charge. <laughs> Fallout music. Imagine. Satan, good work. That was actually a peaceful midstream break. 10 out of 10. Why? Why have I slid into the van? I was in the driver's seat when I stopped, and now I'm just coasting back. See, imagine if the van... I just slid onto the railway lines while I was faffing. Probably helps in binding the air humidity so the candy doesn't suck it up and get sticky. Uh, what, so it, it's there to catch moisture? The stuff on Jelly Babies, I'm assuming you're referring to. Treat yourself. I haven't kitten, but I have trekked myself to whatever's in this can. Which is... Cavendish and Harvey. Sound like a kind of double barreled name you'd get south of uh, Leicester. Kitten says fizzy orange. Six Fox says Pepsi Max cherry. Mind Right says cream soda. Scotty says lemon and lime. Vim Surf up the stream says tango apple. Satan? No, not Satan. Dougie says lemonade. We might have to do some strawberries, you know, at some point. 
Yeah, foot pompous double barrel surnames, people. You got a double barrel surname? You know, but usually anything that goes on candies is to stop them from sticking. Tiny bit of wax or whatnot. Well, what not? Yeah, I suppose if they didn't have something like that right, they'd just get completely stuck together in the bag. Oh, he's called Scotty Too Hotty, of course, yeah. It is Scotty Mountbatten Windsor. Mountbatten. I like saying that word, I don't know why. And they stick because the sugar sucks up water out of the up. I did not realise. There you go, kitten. That hurt my finger opening that. I'm going to have to complain to Pepsi. I'll check the bills. You'll notice when I get home, everybody, that I don't have a message from the fucking inspection because I've done it. <laughs> Doesn't work with flumps, though. The powdery, but guaranteed to get mul. Yeah, flumps. True. I have to separate one big gelatinous mess, don't it? Still offended by what, kitten? The word Mount Bat. Let me just go check super quick. Brought your brother a massive tub of flumps for Christmas. <laughs> Fuck. You're offended by the powder on jelly babies. Depending on the moisture level set, and that might be one. One big flump. Welcome back to Finish Frenzy, the hottest radio show on this side of Betty Arvi. Folks, have you heard about Joe Than's latest exploit? Trying to jump the Rusco over the railroad tracks. Thought he was in an action. Thankfully, he only dipped in his pride in a couple of fenders and 384 passengers. But There's corn flour around Jelly Babies, they remove it from other sweets like cola bottles. The corn flour is used as a reusable mould. A roller depresses the shape of a given sweet in the flour, and the goop is dispensed in that. Then it's shaken off and recycled. Oh, that doesn't make sense. So they, for some sweets they just decide not to cut it off. Because everyone's jiving now, look at that. Yeah, there's flour on milk. Oh, milk. Whoa, fancy some of them. Oh, milk bottles. And chocolate mice, the chocolate that's made, that chocolate mice is made out of, is different to every other chocolate. Try now, don't to finish the bar of chocolate right next to me, uh, next to me right now. I put myself as busy on Teams and my manager has still sent 30 messages since 2 pm. Can't get you though, you're pregnant. For those that weren't here earlier, Kitten is in fact pro. As announced yesterday, I'm going to keep repeating it. The answer to the drink question, however, with Dougie saying lemonade, uh, Six Four saying Pepsi, Kitten saying Fizzy Orange, Mindrack saying Cream Soda, Scotty saying Lemon and Lime, Vimsurf saying Tango, the answer is and was. Dougie was right. Fuck. It's AFK, so I don't need to know. It's Talc. No more chocolate dough, cookie dough. What? I don't... The cookie dough is something that's completely passed me by. Oh, by the way, I need to announce something. It might be because I was in a hurry at some point and there was a few drips. But for somebody that has never pissed on their bedroom floor in this game, I have a rather large piss stain on the bedroom floor in my game. I... Have never pissed. As far as I can tell, there might have been some drops that I didn't notice, but I don't know why they'd be in the bedroom. But apparently, I've weed on the floor. I don't remember doing it. You cut this in right before a nice lady called. It was good. 
Oh, that dance, yeah. Look, Sothan staring at you. Yeah, I was weeing on the bedroom floor by accident. Sothan's all late. What am I doing anyway? Let me we'll eat and drink and let's go to bed. I tidied the fuck out of everything if you're wondering why things are different. I just sat around in the house for the first few days over the weekend and waited. Also, I restocked the fridge. I just like knocked about trying to tidy everything up, so we've got a full load of coffee and everything's good and stuff. Let's have a sick before bed. I saw that did it when he killed me. I spend less time focusing on the stains on the floor under a finished teenager's computer chair. Yeah, maybe. Let's not assume it was piss. Look on the underside of his desk from below. Oh. Oh, cat. Is that why you stand on yours? Jesus. Do you know the problem I have with this chair? There's a... That I didn't realise... There's, you see the chair arm here, it goes down and it attaches to a horizontal bar, so you just slot it, you know, you know the, the way. I didn't realise there's a platform on this side, I only realised this yesterday and I've yet to clean it. It's about an inch thick, thick uh, it's about an inch thick in dust. That side's clean, because I must have noticed it before. Never mind the underside of here, I can't even imagine. Let's stop hinting at jokes. Todd dust, yeah. Okay. Let's sleep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Strawberry Wednesday. Early start with loads of coffee. I'm thinking maybe, mind you. Although it's Tuesday because it's past midnight. I could do to do some strawberries. Do you know what I might do today? We've got some shit sucking to do up top. I don't think I'm, I'm going to get any calls here. We're essentially just waiting for Wednesday now, right? That Friday so we can cheat. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to fire up the keel you, then I'm going to go to there, and I'm going to do a bit of shit sucking, and we're going to deliver to Sothen as much as I'm willing to deliver, and then with a bit of luck, we're tired enough to sleep, because I might actually just start juggling sleep until we can get to Friday. A little peak. Wait, what little peak? You've not seen my little peak, have you? Do I even need... Yeah, I do. This Kilyu bat should be done, I think. Did I really, in all that time I've spent stood around in the house, forget to redo the Kilyu? It's fine. It's fine. I should have enough here to at least sell to Sothan once, because we know what he's like. <laughs> Wait. That's dumb. No, that's dumb. That's, don't do it like that. <laughs> okay. If I can get four, that's enough to sell to Sothen. Is there any that's kill you here? That your kill you. Put, that, put all the, the good ones in the front. Your kill you. Come here. One more. At least. Okay, maybe move the fucking jerry can. You're not. You're not. All you aren't, I know for a fact. This fan's going to go flying. Apparently, according to Martin, not that I can watch it just yet, they're all actually on the back thing, look. According to Martin, Gina's best of came out. And among the two Doomhouse clips that are in it, is me flipping the van to the fucking moon. Also, I need to... When I got back to the location where the van flipped, the petrol can was... sat right where the van was. So I don't know whether it had gone out of bounds, but right where the van was, when it flipped, the jerry can was there in like a circle with a bunch of kill you bottles. So I have no idea what happened there. We got it back at least. Are there lucky strikes from Christmas floating around in circulation? 
Lucky strikes. What, you mean the special batch, Kez? There are a few knocking about, actually. It's alright, we managed to get enough to sell anyway. This has got us, what, six? There should be, I think. I think I've got the one from Trims. There's vodka knocking around that I don't need. Yeah, I think Siddles' vodka's still there. I think Scotty's vodka's still there. Uncle's vodka's still there. Grandma's vodka will definitely be still there because we've not exactly uh, interacted with her much, have we? All right, let's get another batch going. I might as well suck shit anyway, hadn't I? Press 1 to pick some strawberries on the way into town. Or maybe on the way back. Oop, that's not the right thing. To do with the shower while we're here. And I'm not pissing in it. Lovely. You got me interested in where things are now. Where things are manufactured now, Neffers. Right, there's probably a How It's Made film that Dunnills. I do like them kind of videos. They're popular as fuck, aren't they? This is made by Tesco Island at Gresham House, Marine Road, Dublin. Why not? He doesn't care. It's like Jesse's chilli. Yeah, true. It's that one little special ingredient. Are you saying I'm an amateur? There's somebody out there making high-grade kill you. Ooh, I don't really have a massive amount of time to go and suck poo. I think the shit truck needs emptying. But I can't be sure. Did you want to see something else cool? Look at this. You ready? While I was still in, waiting for the police to arrive in game. Oh. Bear with me a sec. Look at this. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Snap Masters is a fun show too. Is that one of those same things? I used to watch them as kids. Like, what was that program that was on when we were Baines that used to go inside factories and show you how stuff was made? Oh, what was that called? That's a long time ago. I was very young at the time. We had an entire show hosted by a man named Max Summers called Unwrapped that was literally just about that. Where slash how it's made originated from, etc. Yeah, so good. No, I don't think it was how it's made. It was something in like the 80s. That they'd go inside like the Walker's factory or whatever. If the cops say that stash, you're done for. No, right? They're not exactly going to be able to question too much where all the QU's coming from. This is the first time you ever used it. It is, yeah. I was just wandering around the house waiting for the police to show up. So I was just sniffing about and thought, I'm going to use this room. Part of my job is to know where some shit is manufactured. Yeah, true. Or where it is, yeah. You mean the really old one with Chris Tarrant? Stop, look, listen. Maybe. Did he go into factories? On that. Whenever I think of stop, look, listen, I think of fucking Darth Vader doing the road safety stuff. Remember that? Before my time, I think. What's his name? Darth Vader's actor. Not James Earl Jones, the physical actor. He was like a strong man, wasn't he? David. Prouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was fucking Green Cross Code by money for the longest time. David Puse. Terrible colour. Where it's mad new TV formats. Two second run time. Or oh, where it's made is a new TV sh uh, TV format. Two second run time. But we've not got a problem with our... Um, uh, 
to put our attention span on it. Have I got chips and stuff? And beers? Did I get the chips and beers out of... Um, I didn't, did I? Out of Trim's... Do I have any beers? I've got some in the car. Ooh, okay, we need to buy some when we're in town. I've been drinking a lot of beer more, uh, beer more in this game. Since Katz suggested many moons ago to have the survival strategy lined up. Chris Tarrant narrated it. They used, we used to use pig bag a lot for scenes in factories of bottles, etc. flying down the line. But Papa's got a brand new pig bag. I don't remember that, actually. I remember the... Yeah. Two top chefs get challenged to create a replica of some of Britain's best love snacks. Oh, yeah. That's quite... It's at least ten years old, isn't it, that Asli? Now you know you mentioned it. I thought it was meant some YouTube thing. Yeah. I remember somebody trying to make a, a Snickers. And he got that fucking French guy from... Um, Whatever that dating program is that looks like a really skinny Triple H. I think he was on it. The bald guy with the beard. God, we are really, really insular today. <laughs> Has any of this made any sense to anybody outside of, like, the British Isles? Have you seen this bullshit of people making Snickers snacks healthy by using date? How? Dates? In, in replacement of what? Dates. Also, I think Snickers might be one of those things that's. Uh, I'm not speaking to you or your kid, but that might be different depending on the country. I love a sticky toffee pudding as much as the next person, but Snickers with dates. They're replacing the new car. It's a marathon, not a Snickers. They're fucking opal fruits, damn it. This is the weight loss bitches. Dates. I mean, just eat a fucking apple at that point, right? No, 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 no. I was going to go on the train tracks there, but it wouldn't have saved me any time. We're going to be fucking sensible in today's stream. Peanuts and dates is pretty good, I can imagine. Yeah, but is... Just eat dates at that point, right? As opposed to trying to bastardise a Snickers into... Oh, I could eat a Snickers, man. They open the date, but... Put peanut butter in and then cover it with chocolate. Sounds amazing, but what? Weird. I've never thought what's in a Snickers. I bet there is peanut butter in a Snickers, isn't there? Now, in my mind, it's whole peanuts and caramel and nougat. There probably is peanut butter in there as well somewhere. Says the guy that's just done it, just talked about having watched how it's made a million years ago of a Snickers. Whatever the program is, Snapmasters. New guys are another fun word to say. Right, let's make some fucking money. But I might have to start thinking of a way to just, like, burn time away before, um, Friday. Because my method has just been sitting around in the house until I get tired and then forcing sleep with the telly. Alright, to town. Should I wear the helmet? No, it's fine. Stop messing about, you're fine. Is peanut butter in the Snickers? I suppose it is. Venti sessions always. Imagine the money I could bet now, 6 4. I wonder how high that goes. Snickers, creamy peanut butter, and milk. Chocolate snack bars, multi pack, 182 grams. Milk chocolate, 35%. With peanut butter filling, 
and caramel centre, 25%, with fresh roasted peanuts, 8.1%. So there's not even any nougat. Yeah, why is it now your Snickers is only 400 calories instead of 500, considered healthy? I know, right? Healthier. It's like saying you can make a Big Mac healthy by leaving a bite at the end. By throwing the last bite out the window. To drive up the max bet so high with the amount of 50 max bets you have that you have the money for. Yeah, I suppose we could we should do that, shouldn't we, at some point? Maybe I'll we'll do it after this. We'll suck some poo, then we'll um, nip some kill you to surf in, and we'll go and just do a bunch of 50 mark bets. I'm not desperate enough to start putting big chunks of money on it like I was last week. They're only men falls. <laughs> Same logic, isn't it? Saying that, I do see the theory behind if you're getting a takeaway that's worth like 2,000 calories, not having cheese on your chips or something. That's like fucking 400 calories that you've cut off in one minor decision. Jesus. The takeaway near us. I usually get uh, chips with cheese on, but I decided not to because I was already eating a lot on Friday. So I thought, I'm just going to get chips. And I saw that they do sizes when you're not getting them with cheese on, and I thought... All right, and then it said medium or large, and obviously, I don't know if you've had that from there, Gwynblade, but it was like a fucking pillowcase full. I'm a fat bastard. At least there's a fat bastard inside me that's desperate to get out, and I got halfway through it, and I felt like I wanted to die. Amazing, like three quid. It was like a shire arse and half's foot uh, worth. I've always seen Snickers as just a fucking American Milky Way Mars bar with peanuts in it. It's all fucked up, right? You've got Milky Ways and Mars bars and all that stuff, but it's completely different, aren't they? All right, Cabra Strike. <laughs> oh, so good, though. Starchy and Hutch. Milky Ways and Mars bars, yeah. So as has caramel. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! By the way, for those of you that watched the best of last week, that, that came out last week, that crash that I had, that I almost had with that red car, because I was reading chat, I didn't realise until I was editing just how fucking close that was to my death. Milky Way here is what we call Three Musketeers. Yes. I learnt that from the um, single series... Uh, single season series of Stranger Things. Should make a second one eventually. That's just new... Yeah, so that's the Milky Way variant. Yeah. This is when we first... Uh, this is worse than when we found out that in Japan they're called Bal... Oh, yeah, Balrog and Bison. And Bison Vega and Vega Balrog, yeah. Well, M. Bison makes so much fucking sense for the boxer, doesn't it? Because it's Mike Tyson. I haven't had a Milky Way in 30 years. I wonder if those are still what I think they are. They're all... Awesome. Yeah, soft. Was that what it was 6-4? Was it a rights thing? I mean, you don't want to upset Mike Tyson's camp from the fucking 80, uh, 80s and early 90s, do you? It's the last thing you want to do. Right, good. Let's make some fucking money, shall we? What time is it? Noon. Just after. Uh, I could. Can I fit two shit sucks in that? Maybe not. Let's not even try it. While it's open. Let's get straight there, and let's get the fucker emptied. Hey, cats, it's your favourite noise. Yeah, they figured out IRL that Tyson might not like the reference. <laughs> I mean, Tyson doesn't want, a, doesn't want a video game where people can beat him routinely, do they? 
saying that, beating Mike Tyson in punch out was not exactly easy either, was it? Alright, while that's sorting itself out. Hello? I notice there's another ugly noise in this game. What's that? The sound of the um, combine engine. Our cousin's honking, yeah. Or when he's stuck and all near his. That's annoying. Given Tyson erased all memories of Japan after the Buster Douglas, <laughs> he's fine to leave him call that there. <laughs> Tyson used to scare me as a kid. He still looks intimidating now. He's like a kind of fluffy old man that's got rid of a lot of his issues, isn't he? But still, not fluffy. Right, that put a little bit more fuel in. I'll go pay for that. And then we'll go and we'll get it emptied and we'll suck some poo. We'll maybe do a bit of venti. Hello. Yes, I'd say it's good to see you, but it's not. I'm going to buy some sausages and I'm going to buy some milk. I need to use milk more. And do I need any of that? No, probably all right. And I'm gonna pay for the fuel, and I'm gonna have some snacks. I know, right? Wait till you hear dubstep. You can tell he's talking about guitars in that, but you don't hear it. Yeah, trap. Good blade on the bus, of course he is. Hello. He's all empty. One of you. I could never see his uh, see him as anything but that weird ass Scooby Doo type show he made for Adult Swim. Did he really, Mike Tyson? Seriously. Like, uh, all I remember though is the, yeah, biting people's ears off and woof. Self. Who was it? Is he? Is he? Eerie bit? Was it? Holy thing. Magnify just how fucking stupid he really is. Yeah, well, it's not his game, is it? Intelligence. He might be one of the most. the top of his game in other things. You only get hit so many times, true. Kind of like that when he was younger, though. Not that I know a great deal about it. Oh, it's nice. The noise is gone. This is where the pulse just cleans me out. Let's go speak to Razor, shall we? I swear it felt like listening to a 40 year old with a mindset of a 10 year old, yeah. I was gonna say that's what boxers are like, but George Foreman exists. Uh, not George Foreman. Um, Chris Eubank exists. Right, let's go speak to Razor. None of us like doing this, but it has to be done. With a Foreman grill. Do you know? I was cooking some fish fingers the other day. <laughs> or fishless fingers the other day. And I put them in the George Foreman, because it's usually how I like to do them. And then I thought, I have an air fryer. And it made me realise that the George Foreman's been completely relegated. Hello! Yeah. Fuck off, now I want fish fingers. Yeah. The one thing I miss yeah. is fish cakes. Yeah. Go have fish cake sandwich, yeah. make it really crispy and cook tons of vinegar on it. A grand? Appreciate it. Oh, fish cake sandwich. <sighs> Glad we had it. God, we had some the other day with Cheese Centre. That's decadent. That, that's that's kit. Slow down. Posh ones. Fish cakes do actually scale with price. They are something that gets better the more you pay. We've talked about food for two hours. Long may it continue. Let's just back in a smidge. Watch this be perfect. 
name one other discussion we've had in today's stream that hasn't <laughs> I don't think I can. Ooh, this looks good. Have I just nailed this? I'm starving. I've got some chicken and salsa in the slow cooker. Yeah, it's true though, right? Oh, that is actually perfect. Ooh. Oh yeah, the sense of smell, that's true, that's true. <laughs> the one conversation. <laughs> yes. Chris Man, my love, good morning. <coughs> I'm so excited to see Chris Man early chuck. <laughs> I've woke up in time to watch my boyfriend. <laughs> Chris Man, my love, welcome to the stream. You've come to watch me empty a poo pipe. You're gonna make a cheese sauce as well. You choked me. Chris man, now Kitten and Towns are having a little baby. We're gonna to have to have one, you and me. I don't know how we'll do it, one of us is gonna to have to... We'll think of a way. <laughs> Lovely, okay, let's go suck some poo. Yeah, let's beat him to the pun. Let's have one in like five months. It'll come out looking like Siddles, but, you know, if we put the effort in. Christmas, my love, good morning. Gotta try real large. You know what you gotta do? You gotta. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have an Any News Town Z emote when the time comes. And we're going to, um, we're going to have an emote called Poosh. Oh shit, Siddles is still here. I thought you were shitting. Siddles has been on the toilet for 90 minutes. As long as it doesn't talk like him, we'll <laughs> be fine. True and real. Oh my shit, it's a fucking phasing into the... Hello? Well, they're gone. How fucked is it going to be when Chris Man is the one to get my sympathy pains and hormones? I've all the money on what it does. Symbiosis. He's already got him. That's IBS, Chris Man. He needs to get out of this. There goes the fiver I was going to make. Oh shit, did I just run over the guy? Ah, oh, he's alive, he's fine. Alright, uh, Hand throttle up. Hydraulic pump on. Chris, when you got to help us, we've been sat here for two hours talking about food. We've probably bored everybody to death. Get in there. Come on, get in there. What a place is to be. Shall we go just completely do uh, Scotty over at Venti? I feel like that. We'll just keep increasing the bet and see if there is a max. Still doesn't eat food. I ate food once on stream in 2020. Yeah, in 2020 when I was playing Trailmakers. And Gwynblade made Siri sound so angry that I've never done it again. Gwynblade said, like, what are you eating on stream? What is this? But Siri said, what is this? In such a terrifyingly sinister way that I've, I've not eaten since. No Thandir and Santa out there, no? Because they know what's coming on Friday, don't they? They know that Stubbler's winning at the fucking track strip on Friday. Isn't that right, man? Is that right, man? Is that enough? This is the life, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, cheers. Appreciate it. Okay, we're back up to 1900. There's only two in town, so we won't be doing this for very long. Then we have to lose money. God, I'm asking for it hopping around in a cab like that. Yeah. Just looking at Chris Man's made my eyes swell. And my heart. Is there anything I need from Alkerions now? I mean, you could argue that taking the roll cage out would help with the drag strip. But, like, we've got a solution for the... We've got a potential solution for the drag strip. And I want the roll cage in for the rally, because the second the drag strip's done, we need to go straight and beat the fucking rally, don't we? Because it's going to be that easy, obviously. There we go. Right, the other one's in town. We'll knock that off super fast. And we'll sit and talk about food for the rest of the stream, shall we? Oh, stretch everybody. I'm about to get over 20 grand. Nothing new that I can think of, just tyres and engine part replacement. Oh, the NOS refill, yeah, true, true. Yeah, oh, I, that's another thing I did. I replaced the water pump, the oil filter, and what was the other thing? I was going to do the clutch, but it was a bit too big of a job. Water filter, oil filter, what was the other thing? I replaced three things. Water... No, water pump, oil filter, and... Oh, the water pump pulley. That's replaced all three. The head gasket we did not long since, right? These are things I've done off-stream, as well as get the inspection done. I'm just going to try, I'm going to do a lot of this sort of slow boring stuff off stream if I can now. We need to really try and make this as smooth as possible. Ow, especially now the best of so. Do you know that was an oddly good best of. I think Sothan said the same thing, like it didn't feel like it was that good a month, but there's some good shit in that best of. There was a lot of Chris man looking beautiful in it, of course. Okay, uh, hand throttle up. It's the thing pinned at the top of the chat. I suppose a lot of you have dismissed it, it? which is fair, uh, as have I. I always forget that that's a thing. I need to do it more often. Is it still there? Yeah. Everybody, you can dismiss it if you want rid of it. You just click dismiss for me or something, and it'll go away. I just feel like I should be helping everybody else because I'm shit at promoting anything ever. It's not something I even give a flying about doing. But the best odds are full of a bunch of friends of mine that are putting out good shit, so I should help them. Yeah, exactly. Nobody can run a cabaret with an eye patch like Christmas and a snakeskin jacket. as friends everybody run I have put it this way Chris man if that's the level of friends I have a, a dislike for everybody they're at about this level but for you I love you so much that it's brought those up to the level of friends <sighs> got away with that one sir is that enough poo That was some good bull that do most bullshit justifications, Chris man, deny it. Right, this has been a nice, gentle ramp back into my summer car for the week, this. Thank you, friend, I appreciate that. Right, direct Sothan's out at 4 pm. He's got to check now, can't he? Sothan! Look at him. Shirtless wonder. Beautiful. Check that out, by the way. 20 grand. Cyberpunk 22.77. Are we good? No, I need to take the poo pipe out, don't I? Right, that's all the shit sucking that we've got. I wouldn't have done that, usually. 
that's this is good. I might suck shit off stream from now on. You're all alright with me doing a lot of the mundane stuff off stream, right? I just want to get on to the next playthrough, I'm excited for it. But I don't want to bullshit the end of my summer car, it's important. I played this game for 200 years. I have to start doing it too. Sucking shit off stream, Chris Ben Miley. There are some games out there where you, you've got to tickle it a little bit. You run a real estate business for like 20 hours in Yakuza or in real life. Go on, get out, it's fine. There's no better franchise, I don't think, than Yakuza to get into, right? Because you start it and then immediately there's fucking 700 games in front of you ready to play. I feel for these chips. I don't think they're ever coming back, are they? Like hardcore drugs. <laughs> right that on the back of the box. Alright, let's get out of here. I've done it in all playthroughs though, really, like sometimes. The Fallout ones actually coincidentally was one that I did it in. Wherever I started, I used to have a quick walk around and sort out my inventory, get stim packs bought and repair the gear and buy ammo and that sort of thing and have a look at what quests and stuff to do off stream. That's why it's pure genius for him to drop like a dragon on sale. Got a gifted and that game's changed my life. Just get him in the door, right? And then I had to play all the others. Whoa, don't tip it, don't tip it. Can I? Yeah, get away with this. They're all on Game Pass here. For anybody that fancies getting in at no cost. Come on, Reds, there we go. <laughs> well, if Spec Ops the line is any example, it's not like we It's not like we own them anywhere else, is it? Still sad about that. Took Spec Ops the line off Steam um and everywhere because the licenses have run out, so now it can no longer be sold or delivered. Therefore, on Xbox and everywhere, the game is just unable to be played. It's gone, Chris Man, my love. As they all will eventually. Yeah, another game I own on Steam that is rare. Yeah, but you can't play it. I don't think you can download it. They can't deliver you the download. The license has run out. Unless you already have it downloaded. I wonder what happens if you've already have it downloaded, but you can't... I don't know. Uh, there's, I think, enough for three shit sucks, by the right? uh, there's The place is shut, though, so I can't go into it. Hello, yes. Can I have a milk? Actually, I'm going to Southlands. I could drink out of his tap. Nah, I'll just have a milk. Yeah, I don't think you can download it from the store at all. It's kind of gone. Pirating is the only way to get it now, I think. Unless you've got a 360 disc or something. Oh, so it's downloaded. Oh, okay, good. So they might just not be able to sell new copies. I wonder if you could buy it from the store if you haven't. People who don't... If there's anybody available that doesn't own Spec Ops The Line on Steam. It's called Spec Ops The Line. Let me know if you can download if you can... If it's available for purchase, because I suppose if we go there now, it'll just show up as. I don't put the helmet on to drive to Southlands. It'll just show up as um, the download link. The Deadpool game ranges from fourteen dollars to over a grand. What well, is a Deadpool game that's got variable prices? Like that fucking Radioid album that came out that time that everybody paid a penny for. 
So far, are you here? You are. Oh, because it's not available anymore, I see. I've still got Flappy Bird on my phone, but you can't open it anymore. Right, how much do we sell to Sothan? How much would Sothan want, do you think? It's not available right now. It doesn't show up at all, as you know. Shit. Gone. Hello, Sothan. You don't see it on the store, no? That's sad. At least you can still play it if you have it. But for now, I don't know how long that'll last. Right, three. If I can sell him six and only drink once, I'll do it. Thank you, Mindrake. Thank you, Wazzy. I appreciate it. Right, can I give him one more? So, then, please. Just pay me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's four. Is it worth selling him an, an extra two? He's going to make me drink if I give him two more, isn't he? Which means that I'd be drinking one to sell him an extra one, and it would only be a hundred marks. Is that worth it? It's not worth it, is it? No, it's not worth it. It's not worth the risk. Alright, good. Because I'd be fucked for going on the main road, wouldn't I? Not if I have to drink one, exactly. You missed, Dougie. Just some good old-fashioned money-making. We did complete the thingy job. You actually won the drink guess as well, Dougie. Welcome back. Shake, welcome to the stream. Why is Spec Ops allowing me? Uh, licensing, yeah. Shake, good afternoon. These things don't last forever, do they? Not a controversy or anything, I think it was just a licensing thing. It was just a shame that it's probably the best shooter. Okay. Um, straight to Scotty? Assuming Scotty's going to be alive? I want to do a load of 50 back bets and we're going to get this up to the um, max if there is one. Best story for certain. Yeah. I mean, mechanically, it's just a generic third person cover shooter, isn't it? But, yeah, very good, right? What's the music? There was music in it, wasn't there licensed music? I seem to remember scenes where there was music playing out of helicopters and stuff. Oh, that game is so good. One of those games where you wish you could play it again for the first time, yeah. For those that don't think they're into military shooters, it isn't that. It's framed as one and it plays like one, but there was a bait and switch at the time. That was the bait and switch at the time. It's actually exceptionally well written to a level that video games rarely are. I'd argue the original Call of Duty Black Ops story was really good. It was quite good. Yeah, I mean it was it was pulpy, wasn't it? And it was light, but it was good. You're right. It was good. good for what it was. But the Spec Ops story is something different altogether. Modern Warfare was like a good action film, whereas Spec Ops is... I've always said it's like Stanley Kubrick made a fucking video game. Don't know why that game was ever made, but I'm glad it did. I'm glad it was. It's a shame, actually, because if I'd have started uploading um, VODs to YouTube like two months earlier, there'd be a playlist of it on YouTube, but it was just before I started doing it. In 2019. Is Scott even going to be here at this time? I don't know. Yeah, the whole... every, Almost every aspect of that game was carefully crafted. I yeah. almost cried when Woods dies. Best character in a shooter that you aren't actually playing for the whole game. Woods. Who's Woods in? Took it in one of the Call of Duty games. Scotty, please be here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right. I'm not going to bet anything too high. I'm going to smoke now because the stress goes up. 
That's my playthrough ruined. <laughs> of um, Call of Duty. Best friend of the main character. Oh, you mean in Spec Ops, Dougie? Sorry, I thought you meant in Modern Warfare. Yeah, everybody that's that listened to me saying it's good and that you should play it, disregard what you just read. Oh, in Black Ops. Oh, you said Black Ops, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to say, I could think of who was called Woods in Spec Ops either. Yeah, Black Ops. Sorry, I thought you meant Modern Warfare for this when you said it. I'm not actually entirely familiar with the Black Ops story. Black Ops 2, I remember. And all the Modern Warfare ones, of course. Hello, Scotty. Right. The current max bet is... 18.50. God, you have to... You can roll it back past zero, but you can't go up past max. So if we just win a load of 50 mark bets, see how high it gets. There's four Black Ops games, yeah. We'll reboot the fuckers. Stand at 15 or hit? You hit, right? Never mind. We're already betting 50 uh, marks, though. Stand at 8. So we need to count wins, don't we? Stand at 16. Which games are you talking about? Spec Ops The Line, Dougie, yeah. Uh, there we go, right, that's one win. It masquerades as a military shooter, but it's far more than that. You're learning mad, John. Uh, Wait, have I just... That's a win. That's two wins. You play at dentist appointments. I've been I've been balls deep on the Tetris app, um, and it's crap. It's just like generic levels that you just beat with no speed increase or anything because of the touch controls, which are also terrible. But I played like eight hundred fucking levels of it. Kitten beat all mahjong tournaments in Yakuza. That's a win. Oh. Three wins. So now we're up to max bet at two k. Yeah, they're going to be midwife appointments now. Everything's changing, kid, and I fucked myself. Oh. No, that's what it, That's four wins. Imagine if I'd been putting max bets on these fuckers. I'd have just won eight grand. Wasted some time last time I went to the US playing Tetris. No, wasted some time last time I went to the US playing Tetris on the in-flight entertainment. It was terrible. What, on the in-flight entertainment? Oh, God, I bet it is. So bad in touch controls are bad enough. I can't imagine what it's like doing it on that. Okay, so I'm at four wins. CeeLo and Shogi to play. Are they also because games like that? Yeah, because they've got some wild mini games, right? What the hell of it, dear? Got to watch Spies in Disguise. Terrible. What's that? Oh, play, uh, film. <laughs> Max bet should be at about 2k, mind, right? Probably bang on. 2050. Okay, so we're up at least beyond 2k. Fuck. So we'll bet another 50. Stand at 18. Right, looking up Spec Ops The Line on PS3. Good thing I still have my old consoles. I don't know if it's for sale, Dougie, because the whole discussion just beat me. Because the whole discussion was about um, the fact that it's been delisted. Fuck. Lots of gambling to do, and I don't like gambling. Me neither, Chris, man. I, don't, I opt to not gamble in video games. That's what it's the only thing I remember from it was the guy was a was the guy was a pigeon. Other than that, it bored me enough to fall asleep on the plane for five whole minutes of a what like twelve hour flight or something. What is transatlantic flight like? Seven hours, eight hours to, from like fucking oh. London to I don't know what New York. Seven hours, eight hours. Obviously, you weren't going to either from or to those places. 
Is it not even six to the East Coast? That's not bad. <laughs> Faster when flying East, right? Uh, all right bang. George was like eight hours over to London. That's not as bad as I thought it was. It's fast to fly in east. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell, I'm getting my shit pushed in by Scotty right now. And I fucked it. <laughs> Could be I was on a lot of drugs and booze. Not anymore. Clean as a whistle, sharp as a thistle. Come on, Scotty. I've got five wins so far. Six. Six wins. Stand at 16. So I've got a little baby. You're calling it up. You're calling it Tamil, right? I heard. I've just thought of a really, really dumb name that I might use for the Fallout character. Oh, I just thought of a really dumb name for the character. I'm thinking, by the way, he's going to beat me, is he? Get a fucking face card. Yes, got him. Uh. Eight wins. Yeah, I was thinking, because usually in Bethesda games, I am... That's lost. Because usually in Bethesda games, I am voicing the main character, right? Because you're just reading dialogue off a list that the NPCs respond to. I know that Fallout 3, 4, sorry, which is the next playthrough, is voice acted. It's one of the few things I do know. Oh. Which means we actually have the option to play a female character, which I never usually do. So I might do that. Because we've had fucking Stubel. Oh, then again, I could have done it in Valheim. We've had Stubel. Prisoner was male, obviously. No, was male. Would that be weird? Not weird that... Uh, played a female character, but weird for the Doom Because I don't have to worry about voicing a character that wouldn't sound anything like me. Do you know what I've discovered? That's a wipe. Oh. Yeah. Eight win no nine wins now. What I'm hoping oh, I fucked it. What I'm hoping <laughs> makes a return in Fallout 4 is there's a perk in Fallout 3 that I've discovered on... Um... So I'm re I don't know anything, or barely anything about Fallout 4, but I have discovered... I've been playing Fallout 3 in the build-up, so I need to think of a way to survive, because I'm only allowed 10 deaths on the survival difficulty. 10 wins. There is a perk in Fallout 3 called Black Widow, which is only available to female characters. And it's like a damn 2450 max bet, by the way. <whistles> the Black Widow perk is like a, a speech check perk, which can convince male um, characters to do all sorts of dumb shit. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't know if there's a male version of that, but if, if that perk returns in Fallout 4, don't tell me if it does or it doesn't it? The record oh. could be an option. Look at Tamil. That's 11 wins. I won't do this forever. We need to get back at some point. I always play a lady when possible. It's AC Valhalla female voice actor did a much better job than the male. Almost 400 hours of that shit and still not done with the achievements. Value for money, Chris, man, right? And I like her voice better. <laughs> It's one thing you don't have to worry about in uh, what's, a what's his face, right? Uh, three in Skyrim and stuff. It's true, Kit, and if by home you mean UK. Oh, faster flying home. I think that's what he's referring to, Kit. Faster flying backwards and forwards. It's faster going east. 
helvete! Back. So, it's, so she thought it was faster going west. Come on. Stand at 20. Good. Let's get our 12th win. Good. Uh. I like doing this. This is easy. When I get the bet to the max, are we going all in on one? I can afford it, let's be honest. Fuck. <laughs> My stress is going up. Look, have a smoke, Scotty. I'll be with you in a second. I was going to say, can I smoke in here? He's smoking himself. Alright, Scotty, yeah? Nice to see you. Look at his eyes, gee, look at... We talk about his hooves a lot, but his eyes are even creepier. What's he even doing here? Does he eat, drink? No, nothing. He must eat, he's got a stove. He just sits here and takes teenagers' money. Fuck! <laughs> The uh, license has expired, we think, on music, Dougie, unfortunately. Which will come to most games, I suppose, eventually. That's bad. Oh, that's good. 13 wins. Right, max bet now is up to... 2,600. So it does work, Chris, man, yeah? Good, 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 good. I was worried for a second it wouldn't be available to download. Murder cases in Alabama are hard to solve. Everyone has the same DNA and there are no dental records. See, that's funny to us cats. But I bet Kitten and Southland have heard that every day. <laughs> I bet it's hard to make a beer one they haven't heard before. Such a stupid bullshit reason. Well, it'll happen to every game eventually, Dougie. These licenses don't last forever, like Grand Theft Auto and their music licenses, that'll get taken down eventually. And, um, unless they keep paying out of their arsehole to renew it, which Rockstar can afford at least. Most car games get taken down, there's faults of games disappearing and stuff. This is not a joke for them, yeah. Fun fact, a serial killer and kidnapper slash rapist decided to come to Al Alabama and seen the last name on a headstone. Decided to take it as their own. The last name was my mother's maiden name. So they came through and changed their identity. And they picked the name from a headstone nearby and it was in fact your mother's maiden name. Jesus. That's a win. He's a 22. Right, that's... 14 wins. Hearing bad stereotypical jokes every single day, yawn. <laughs> yeah, but you get it a lot. I guess it's there's not typically offensive, are they? You're just sick of hearing them. Very rarely creative. And that headstone red. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> Kitten's mother's bed. <laughs> oh, jeez. Double barreled, you see. Oh. That's, tw that's 20 wins. There's got to be a cap, right? Don't tell me if there is, of course. Ants, welcome to the stream. How's it going? From hearing about it as a kid in passing, I was watching some murder show on Netflix and it was chilling to the bone when they said the guy's name. Tits. The full Leo point. Thirteen. Fuck! Uh. To answer your question, I only acknowledge the ones that are creative if I haven't heard it before. Uh, if I have heard it before, I won't even acknowledge something was said. Yeah. It's a fucking smoke again. I'm getting slaughtered all of a sudden. Might end up 
Fuck, I need to go home and sleep. Uh, go back to town and save at some point. I didn't realize time had advanced so fucking quickly. Should probably drive home. Got 15 minutes before the stream ends. So answer your question. Sorry, uh, does that make me a dick? I don't care. Well, somebody's trying to be a dick to you, go for it, right? It surely shits out here. Good. Oh. I say fuck when I win. Is that what he says? Well, 20, I'll take that. We need to check if there's a cap. It might be 3k. I should check at the end of every one, shouldn't I now? It's just a joke, so I don't take offence, but if you're going to try and insult me, at least be creative. Oh. Yeah. So if I was to go all in now... 28.50. So let's try and get it up to 3k. Stand at 17. What reminds you of Monsters in Chris, man? It's got his feet. Me too. Calls him a one eyed cretin. Right, I need three more wins for this experiment to at least get us to 3k. Fuck! I'm not going to get it like this. He mispronounces cretin, so he, pr he corrects it. Cretin? Oh. Easy. Alright, two more wins. I've got a 20 and a 19 back to back. I've won so much in this that I think if I'd have just been going all in, I'd be in massive profit right now. But that's that's the fallacy, right? I don't want to um, insult you. That's right. One more win. Am I actually down six four? Have you been counting? I must just feel like I've got a lot of wins. Fuck. Oh, I haven't down yet. No, you don't have to count here. It's just the money's there. How much did I have when I first came in? It was twenty seventy seven, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember saying 20277. No way. What every gambler thinks before they lose everything, yeah. Fuck. Uh. Wait, did I just beat the guy? I wasn't even looking, I was tabbed out. Stand at 19, though. Still, I'm doing a lot better than I used to do. Right, has it gone above? That's four wins since... If it's 30-50 now. It is. Do we reckon there's a cat? I'll drive home at 45. Not home, but back. Stand at 17. By the way, if you know that there's a cap, don't tell me. I'm going to find out by doing. Keep running it up and find out. I suppose I will. Oh. That's him done. Good. Okay. I really wish you could reset. You have to go all the way back down, which is frustrating. 3100. Okay. I don't want to do an all-in. I kind of want to, but I don't want to at the same time. Fuck. Sixteen, I don't like. Especially, well, he's doing all right. Actually. Ah, he got exactly what he needed to as well. The fucker. Yeah, it does cats. That's and it's frustrating, right? It's a good way of saying it. Fuck. <laughs> I don't like that noise Scotty makes when he wins, it's creepy. No, no. Ah. Stand at 19. I was going to say, I can win his shoes. He doesn't wear fucking shoes. This is the one character in this game that doesn't. 
Wonder what Grandma would say if she knew you were playing with the devil. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately for me, she walked in front of a bus, so we don't have to worry about what Grandma would say. Oh, what am I doing? I'm hitting, aren't I? Stand at 20 all day. And I've accepted rides from cousin and stuff in the past. Grandma would be very disappointed in me. Jesus Christ! Yeah, Grandma, I, I, this run's been going since, like, August, um, Ants, and Grandma got hit by a bus in September and she's just not existed in this place. I've never played it before either, and I managed to beat the game. I'm playing it blind, so I'm not allowed any help or hints or anything. And for the longest time, I was terrified that Grandma was linked to the ending. But we got to the credits at least. Yeah, I, I don't know if I've spoken about that since we beat it. I was absolutely fucking ter terrified that Grandma was related to the ending. I was sat here thinking, oh god, what if she is? What if, the, what if, like, she's part of the something or one of the ways to beat the game? Mercifully, no. I don't stand at 15, I'd rather lose. Yeah. We need wins, don't we? Can't stop jiving to this. Right, we'll go home and I'll save in town. Uh. Come on, get rid. Get rid of the fucking sink. Right, one more. Stand at 17. Somebody write this number in Discord for me in a second. Oh, I've got some massive shit. Face cat. Bollocks. <laughs> right, write this number down for me. Three thousand two hundred. Press one to have one game at max. Chris one says do it. Ant says do it. Six fast doesn't. Vimsurf says do it. Kitten says do it. You talked to her quite a bit before she died. She told you a lot of lore. I don't know what she'd still have up her sleeve. I'm doing it. Fuck it. I'll stand at eighteen. Is it eight? Twelve? It might do me it. It's do uh. <laughs> I've just come here, done all that and left having made money. Yes! Twelve, welcome to the stream. Easy. Lovely, 23 grand, what the fuck? This is my favourite kick stream now. Alright, I'm going to get this, uh, I'm going to have a wee week, and we're going to drive back to town, and I'm going to save, and that is going to be the stream for today, everybody. Tomorrow, I guess, we need to do some strawberries ahead of the drag racing. Because we are actually running low. I need to spend some time at Trim's as well, don't I? I might run the clock a little bit off stream tonight to push us a bit closer to the drag strip. Because I, as you saw earlier, have plans for the drag strip. 12, how's it going? I'm glad I didn't hit. Well, that felt good to win. Don't think, yeah, right, don't focus on this feeling, Stubbler. It's alien. Don't do it. It's sent to destroy you. 12, how's it going? Has this been a successful stream? We delivered the combine. We've got two successful shit sucks done. We've made money from Sothen without him forcing us to drink. It's been alright. Uh, 32.50 now, cats. Because I won the last one, so 32.50. I don't know if there's a cat. There's got to be a cat, right? Just trying to not pay attention, gotcha. If the if there is a cap, what's your current outstanding fine? I had an outstanding fine tw uh, twelve. It was sixty four thousand marks for uh, tax evasion. But I ran it off off stream, and it turns out it was only 
two uh, two days in prison, and they let me keep my money, so I don't have to pay the fine because I went to prison. So, and it was only two days. So it's done. It's behind me. No cap on God straight busing. True. Saturday and Sunday in prison. It's no time at all. It felt. It went very quickly. Yeah. You want to know the dumb thing, Ant, right? I was doing the bales job, so I was using the jerry can to fill the tractor as I was going, the backup. I had the tiniest little bit of cherry diesel in the jerry can, and I put it in the van. It must have been... It was like one pixel on the bar, but I needed it empty to put something else in. And the fucking police caught me for it and did me. Two days. Canister of Gerald. Regular old Martha Stewart over here. Is Snoop Dogg your friend now? Not 90s Snoop Dogg. Oh, I got you, Ants. I got you. Okay. Do you reckon I can go and deliver some to Southend real quick? Do you reckon I can go and deliver all of it to Southend? And then run the hangover off off stream. That's worth doing, right? That's worth doing. Is that worth doing? Here you are. Cheeky, welcome to the stream. The combine is delivered, not my snoop. Cheeky, how well. Thank you, the bits. No, I'm not going to deliver to Southam. Should I deliver to Southam? No, it's too dark to deliver to Sofa. No, we're not doing it. I need to go. It's nearly 55. I will buy a beer or two from the shop, though, before we go. Right, tomorrow, then, I might have driven home in the gap. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to get back, maybe run the clock a little. And there's a chance that tomorrow we could be doing the drag strip. The villain arc drag strip, as we'll call it. Lovely. All right, have I got time to quickly dip into the pub for a beer? We'll put a little bit of energy into Scotty's max bet, I think, at some point. If there is a max, I don't know if there is. We'll see. Right, like that, like that, like that. Crisp. Crisp. Oof. There's too much alcoholism in this stream. It's 90s Finland. Isn't that right, Lundios? Who doesn't live in Finland? Another one. <laughs> Lundios, thank you for 46 months. How's it going? That's Scotty and Lundios both on their 46 month anniversary today. Can't believe those two appeared on the scene. That's so weird. On the same day. Alright, Uncle. Yeah? Good. Hello. Just two beers, please. This is loud. Love you, I appreciate that very much. Welcome to the stream. Wait, I threw that milk so hard from the shop that it landed in the... It toned down the alcoholism a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm actually leaving you. Uncle. Right, that's going to do it. I'll see you tomorrow. Jamie, Augur, I'll see you tomorrow. Uncle. That's kind of the brace position, right? And that is where I say goodbye. Lundios, thank you for the gifted sub to Chris, man. Thank you, Lundios. I appreciate that. Chris, man, my love. Congratulations on no ads. Thank you, Lundios. Right, that is it for me today, boys and girls. I appreciate everybody stopping by. But unless you're in the Doom House Discord and you're joining us for marbles to pick a winner at the end, that is it. I will see you tomorrow as I do every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday for my summer car until we have found a way to win at the drag strip, finish the relic, pick all the strawberries in the world and get out of here off the farm. Don't know when that'll be, but it could either be next week or it could be August. Depends. But I appreciate everybody stopping by. Thank you for the bits, subs, posts, braids, gifted subs and everything.
today. Welcome to the new followers. But that is me out for my summer care. Lovely stuff. Uncle is very drunk, always. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I will see you all tomorrow. Well, yes, I appreciate the gifted. Right, those of you in the Doom House Discord, which is linked down below that, it's time for a quick run of marbles before we get out of here and go pretend we've got lives to lead. How about that? <sighs> right, I've got bad news, everybody. The Greens in the Doom House Discord last week in, my, uh, in golf actually managed to hold us back from getting a point, which meant the Greens won marbles and stream races on Friday and the Oranges got fucking nothing. Which means, Oranges, even though we're probably vastly outnumbered, as we always are, today's the day that we can at least ruin it slightly. Kid, thank you for writing that down. I need to write that down on the to-do list or something. I need a double marble now that I have a marble up for two or some shit. Boys and girls, if you didn't know, Kitten announced to us yesterday that her and Towns are pregnant. So congratulations to them. Kitten, you're not having two marbles, though. You can fuck off. <laughs> for those that don't know, the Doom House Discord is split evenly down the middle between those with green names and those with orange names. The greens and the oranges compete at the end of every stream to determine who is the person of the century of the day. The person of the century of the day currently is Scotty because he won Friday's marbles, but it is a new week. If you would like to be the person of the century of the day, then you must simply type the password. And if the password is right, and you are in the Doom House Discord, I will give you a marble. And if your marble wins, you get Scotty's golden name. Easy. Not sure if the world can handle that. <laughs> Another kid. Is that a good thing, not sure if we're at the age for contracts? Or do you need a... Congrats, or do you need a driver? It looks like congrats. Right, boys and girls of the Doom House Discord, if you'd like a marble and you'd like to compete in today's uh, battle for the person of the century of the day, password for today is... Congratulations. I won't justify that with an answer. Thanks, like, welcome to the stream. Trim, welcome to the stream as well. Alright, we've got Trim for the greens. Orange win today. Chris Man win a golden Chris Man imagine. Dougie for the greens. What's happened? Kitten's pregnant, Trim. But her balls work. Tag Slack for the oranges, welcome to the stream. We've got Sills for the oranges. Scotty for the greens. Satan for the oranges. Mindright for the oranges. Cats for the greens. Lundius for the greens. Alkerion for the oranges. For the oranges. Twelve for the oranges. Six four for the greens. Kelly for the greens. Cardi, good afternoon. Three for the greens. Chris Man, my love for the oranges. Azzy for the oranges. Cheeky for the oranges. Shake for the oranges. And mean it for the oranges. Did I miss anybody? Oh, I missed Gwynblade. Gwynblade, are you alright going on at the bottom? Some poor kid is going to grow up listening to our mad shit in the living room. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> That's my kids now and trims, yeah. 21 marbles enter the race. First person to pick it up if you want to be a little goop. We've got Trim, Dougie, Tag Slack, Siddles, Scotty, Sid, Mindrake, Cats, Lundios, Alkyrion, Kit. 12, 6, 4, Kelly, Cardi, Chris Man, Azzy, Cheeky, Shake, Mina, and Gwynblade. Is that 12 oranges and 9 greens? Twelve oranges and nine greens. Or oh, twelve oranges and ten greens. So thumbs back. Please sir, could I have a 2024 point? I right, want us to qualify for Eurovision. Alright, so then you're in. First person to pick him up. So yeah, Kitten's already done it. So one, two, three, four presses of the random button gets us to the level of his feet. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, 22 marbles into the race. Are we going three? Did I miss Dougie? Did I get Dougie? Oh, Dougie came in just ahead of Tag Slack. Wait. Hang on a minute. I'm checking. I'm checking. Yeah, Dougie. I got Dougie. I'm biking, so it's a bit loud. So I got Dougie. Jesus. Three, two, one. 
Dougie, you're in, don't worry. 21 to 25. The Greens did well on Friday and have clawed it back to a four point gap. Oranges, we need to pull away again because they're approaching. If they win this, we're going to have to have fucking words. Three, two. Come on, oranges. Yes, no, I thought it was cheeky. It was Cardi. Cardi's out early for the Greens. Gwynblade is second for the Greens. Satan's here. Cheeky is actually here for the oranges. All right, the current uh, the current race is Cardi and oh, Cardi against Satan now. Gunblade has fallen back. Can Cardi do this for the green? Satan has trouble on the same bullshit, but cheeky from the outside. Oh, the oranges are absolutely crowding this front. Look at this. So many oranges in the let's see oranges. This is the first time the oranges have had most marbles this year. And look how they're treated. Yes. Satan gets pushed around. The first front four are orange. Cardi is doing his best for the greens. Gwynblade's here as well. Cats, Lundios all approaching, but the oranges have got the top three spots nailed down. This looks like a good run through the spinner for Satan. Never mind. 12 can't get through the spinner, but he does just get out of it in time. Can Gwynblade or Cardi get a better exit? Gwynblade overtakes 12. Now Gwynblade is in the lead. Gwynblade, who is the only green in 2024 to win at stream races. Mindrex got on the lower path, 12's got on the lower path, but Gwynblade looks like he's completely skipped a lot of this course. He's actually got negative momentum though, which he's going to have to get back somehow. This is... Oh, Cardi has fallen. Gwynblade is on his own in the first now with Mina in second. Can Gwynblade or Mina fuck the landing up? They've both nailed it. Well played. Azzy, cheeky, Satan, 12, Mindrex, Kitten, Shake, Siddle, Alkyrion... Look at the fucking oranges! If Gwynblade falls here, the oranges might be able to get the entire top ten. Never mind, Sills has fallen off. Wow, the oranges are fucking dominating this, apart from Gwynblade, who's currently in third. Mina's ch out in the lead, Gwynblade in third at the moment. As he's gone the other way. This is the level of what happens to your insides if you swallow a bubblegum. This is the, <laughs> the inside of a woman. Alright, can Mina make the drop? She can't. Gwynblade might be able to. Mina, don't push Gwynblade. Okay, Gwynblade got fucked there. Mina's got the drop. This could be a Mina person of the century of the day. Gwynblade can't get out. Gwynblade's now in second behind Mina, but me. Where did Satan come from? Is it Mina or is it Satan? Oh, Gwynblade gets second. He tried his hardest, but look how orange this is. Okay, Satan, you only just snuck in there before going blade. That was tight. Okay, is that Satan's first point of the year? It isn't. It's his second. That might be Satan qualified for a country in Eurovision and the Euros. Satan for the Oranges gets person of the century of the day, and we are pulling there. Where's Scotty? Scotty's got offline, so I have to creep all the way to the bottom of the list to find him. There he is. Greens, the crown is off one of yours and onto the head of an orange. All right, oranges, let's absolutely shit down their throats. Greens, this is what happens when you've got the most marbles. You just win. Not that shit that you do, where you fuck it up. Satan is first, Gwynblade second for the oranges. Mina, uh, it's green, sorry, Mina third for the oranges. And with that, I'll add a point onto the oranges total. We are now up to five points in the lead. And I will say goodbye. There we go. Beautiful. Right. Boys and girls of the d -Match Discord, if you... Uh, well, everybody. If you haven't seen it, that is the January 2024 best of the Doomhouse community, including clips from myself and Chris Mann and Cheeky and Alkerion and everybody around this awful place that streams. I recommend following everybody on that list if you haven't seen it. Enjoy it if you haven't. Your person of the century of the day, however, is Satan for the Oranges getting his second point of 2024. That's an issue with this year, right? We've had... What, 17 winners, I think? Maybe 18? 17? But we've got so many people on multiple points, and it's not just people that have won double or triple points thanks to me being ill, but people are actually winning. A few people are winning a lot this year. A womb, best to use a band-aid. A US hit Japan. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, team scores 25 to 21. If you'd like to compete, there'll be another Marvels at the end of tomorrow. Scores are in the pins if you'd like to keep up on who has what and who is in the top 26 uh, point scorers who are currently getting a spot for Eurovision, but that could change. But for now, that is it. Thank you all for being here. I want a terribly unsuccessful stream, man. I went and spoke to Scotty and came out on top. We got the combine delivered to Trim and he absolutely screwed me and only paid me a thousand max. 
two successful shit sucks. We got the teal you started with. That was a good streak. I'm going to take that as a good one. Thank you for being here anyway. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the host, the ribs, the subs, the bits, the gifted subs, and everything. I appreciate everybody stopping by. But for now, I'm getting out of here. Sign up for Discord bullshit on Sunday. I think that's everything, right? Can somebody think of me a final word, as I strongly suggest everybody going over and watching both Alkerion, who is live right now, and Alkerion. But enjoy the best of it if you haven't seen it. The five actually fuck the final word. Kitten, Satan, Mindrate, Sothan, Trim, Shake, Dougie, Twelve, Mindrate, and everybody else that I can't see on screen right now. I love you all. Thank you all. But the final word can only be one thing for today, and that is congratulations to kittens and kitten and towns. Kitten's not schizophrenic. A little baby.